Hello, everyone, and welcome back to the Superior Adventures Guild. My name is Dave, your uh, host and friend. And tonight, I or today, tonight, today, whatever it is, uh, when you might be watching this in the future, like our friend Shiv is in the future, um, I today am your game mother because we're playing Alien RPG. Uh, most of you probably are fairly familiar with this setting. Uh, certainly everybody sitting around the virtual tabletop with me today has seen the movie Alien. Um, so we have this center, sort of general sense of um, where this story takes place. Alien RPG kind of embodies everything that we don't understand about the universe. Are we alone? We're not. Uh, is there a future for the human race beyond Earth? Maybe. You know, these are some big questions. Um, you know, but beyond sort of these grand existential questions that we have about our place in the universe, Alien RPG is about humanity. It's about this endless human hubris uh, loved ones, then their loss of them, self-sacrifice. It wrestles with questions about artificial intelligence, creation, death, and personal faith put to the test. Game delves into corporate greed, technologies, limitations against unknown horrors, the human instinct to develop and build and modify and destroy, consequences be damned. Finally, the game is going to venture into the frontiers rough colony worlds where characters confront inner demons and otherworldly challenges. So today's game takes place on LV246, also known as Hadley's Hope. You might have heard of it. Uh, it's a shake and bake colony on an unmapped moon orbiting the parent planet of Kalpamos. The colony here was established by the Wayland yutani Corporation in 2157 as a terraforming research and mining facility. 22 years later, there are 158 colonists living amongst this giant, the giant atmospheric processors, which are making the air breathable, despite the dense clouds, the violent electrical storms that plague this gloomy remote landscape. If you've seen the movie Aliens, you have caught glimpses and seen uh, the full setting because this actually, this story takes place uh, before the space marines arrive on LV-246 with... Um, with the, uh, the intent of perhaps saving the colonists. We'll see how that pans out. Um, Hadley's Hope is that classic us versus them feel. It's got labor tensions, corporate ignorance, rundown equipment that's scheduled for replacement. Despite all this, the colony on LV246 has been very busy and there's opportunities aplenty and risks as well. So we're gonna get into a fantastic one shot uh, today, but before we do that, I want to introduce you to the people that make this whole community special. It's the players who bring the passion and love for TTRPGs. Hello, everybody. Welcome to the Superior Adventures Guild. It's great to see you all. Thanks for being here. Glad to be back. Heck yeah. Glad to have you, Kay, and, and the rest of you as well. Um, before we get started, we are going to go around this virtual tabletop, and I'm going to have each of you introduce yourselves. Uh, let us know if you've got something you want to plug, where we can find you, all that good stuff. Um, and then give us a little a little taste, if you will, of, of who you're going to be playing today in this game. And I would love to start first with Jeremy. Jeremy, hello. Welcome. Hey, how's it going? I'm Jeremy. You can find me on uh, Twitter at WH Pubs. I also stream over on Wanderer's Haven from time to time with the uh, crew over there, which is actually my channel. But anyway, uh, <laughs> today I am playing Morgan Hirsch. Um, he is he was at one time a space marine and uh, has since left his service to them. Um, perhaps not with letting them know first and so he might be in hiding here at on hadley's hope oh oh my maybe there's a, there's a whole backstory there right Ooh, prequel i see a prequel coming <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. i love it <laughs> jeremy really happy to have you on the channel Thanks again great me. to have you back um let's jump over to k hello k welcome hi i'm happy to be back uh, my name's Kay, or Ken Cosmos. I do a lot of art stuff from, uh, you know, theater and improv to uh, graphic design and things. Um, today I'm playing Sunny Sig. Uh, he, they are a, uh, a scientist on Hadley's Hope. Um, they feel a little stifled. Uh, they feel like uh, they need to get off this rock to find some better opportunities. Um, but for now, they're happy, happy enough to be here. Uh, that might change, but. 
Well, great to have you back. And I also know that there's a four-legged friend that's roaming around somewhere over there named Ripley. Yeah. So I'm sure that we'll get some glimpses at some point. Always great to have you and Ripley back on the channel. Thank you. We're happy to be here. Heck yeah. Um, let's jump over to Aria Galaxy. Hello, Rachel. Welcome back. Hey, everybody. Um, I'm Aria Galaxy. You've probably seen me on the Guild Superior channel before. I haven't really streamed anywhere else. This is kind of my home and my people. Uh, I... The last time I played with Dave was on a Mothership game that had a uh, interesting ending. So go and check that out on YouTube if you haven't seen it. Uh, I played a very sassy Israeli scientist. But this time I am playing uh, Holroyd Holly, uh, who is a roughneck. She, you know, is a manual labor worker, blue collar, you know, She's been in countless brawls. She drinks people under the table, and mostly she's just trying to clock in, do her work, and go home. Um, Holly, you know, she's very likable. She gets along with most people, but she kind of slacks off sometimes because she's like, eh, I can do that work and then do whatever. So, uh, yeah, she's the um, kind of hardworking cog that keeps the frontier here chugging along. So uh, super excited to play with all of you. Thank you so much. Holly is literally what this, this call, the, people like Holly, this colony is built on their backs. You know, it's like these corporate handlers, you know, people like Shiv and the and Shiv's character, you know, are really sort of putting the screws of these people, making them work harder and harder to terraform and mine. and. Oh boy, here we go. All right, Shiv. I've always got sweat on my brow that I'm That's right. wiping off. <laughs> Meanwhile, Shiv sitting in air conditioning, perhaps. I don't know. Shiv, Hello. what's up? How yeah. you doing? I'm great. It's good to be back here. I'm Shiv, and you can find me out everywhere at I Shiv, and it's great to be back on this channel once again. And I will be playing Buchanan, who's the administrator, the guy in charge, the guy with all the responsibility, the one that makes this machine work. I am responsible for these people and i answer to our wayland utani paymasters as well great to have you back my friend and i just got you put in i put you in your place we shall say on the Thank screen you. so we're, we finally Someone got that straight to. away <laughs> <laughs> the Someone's tables have turned to. <laughs> uh, great to have you back and last but Thank certainly you. not least huli so wonderful to have you back on the channel huli it's been too long since the last time I was messing around with Waylon Yutani. <laughs> That's right. That's right. There's a trend here, I think. There is. There is a trend here. Hi, friends. Uh, my name is Huli. I play games, run games, and produce games over at Heroes and Hooligans. And today I will be here playing Hannah Singleton, a.k.a. The Riz, the pilot and uh, right hand to the boss of the whole operation over here. So we're going to probably get into a lot of shenanigans. I think there's like a pay raise or something in it for me. If oh. I make sure Shiv's <laughs> character survives, I might even get my own wow. everything. So, you know. Wow. Hey, I mean, I'm open to negotiations with any of you. If you can help me get out of here alive, we'll see how it goes. Performance <laughs> reviews, that sort of thing. We'll, 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 we'll work it out, I'm sure. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, Capitalism is a curse. That. Oh, my God. You definitely <laughs> get points for survival. That's for sure. So... Yeah, that's awesome. Tahuli, great to have you back. Um, I love playing games with you. So, yes, we finally are here playing games together, my friends. Um, hey, I just want to do a couple of quick shout outs. We're going to be utilizing some tunes uh, from a variety of sources, uh, including Tabletop Audio, Cryo Chamber, and our friends uh, Carl Casey. A lot of great music that has been... Um, these folks have given us the permission to use and we really appreciate their creativity. So um, I'm going to throw up some links here in a little bit where you can go check them out. I'll throw links up during the uh, the break. You can go check out their catalogs and hopefully uh, you'll fall in love with their music as much as we have over here at Guild Superior. Um, I think you guys, I think we're ready to get into this game. Is everybody ready? Oh my gosh. Yep. This, this is Alien yep. RPG, y'all. Whew. All right, so I'm going to set the stage a little bit for you, so bear with me as, as I get through a little bit of a, a narrative introduction. So we have uh, found ourselves on LV246, as I mentioned earlier. Four days ago, a wildcatter named Russ Jordan 
was brought back from the Ilium Ridge. A medical team tried to save him, but he was infected with something. Folks say it was some kind of an organism, and when he died, some snake-like parasite disappeared into the guts of the base. Security has had no luck catching the thing, and somehow, they say, more people have become infected. Rumor is that some of them have died, and that there are more of these snake-like things than Supervisor Al Simpson is admitting to. Not only that, but a Wayland yutani corporate shuttle arrived just before the five of you headed out on your maintenance run to Processor 9. <clears throat> As you know, a crisis or not, you've got a job to do. But in the process, the shit has certainly hit the fan. 24 hours ago, and 10 clicks from base, Singleton's tractor gave up the ghost. A nasty mechanical crunch told you that it wasn't going any further. You made some calls back to Hadley's Hope's comm center, and you were met with a curt response. Stand by. Perhaps even Buchanan's uh, lobbying didn't quite get, the, get to the uh, desired response that you had hoped for. They said that they'll get to your little problem when they have time. Apparently, they're busy cleaning up some other mess. Something that Hirsch is usually in charge of. Nevertheless, a day has passed, and you've still heard nothing from Central Command. Recent attempts to contact Hadley's Hope have failed. The only communications you pick up on are garbled transmissions and static. Reality is starting to set in, my friends. No one is coming to help. Each of you, to start out, is going to take one level of stress as you realize that you are on your own. There's no option now but to walk back to see what the hell is going on. And as we pick up the action, we're gonna find our party struggling towards the west airlock in block C. One by one, you emerge from the rain and the dust-laden wind illuminated by the flashes of erratic lightning above. This atmosphere, while breathable, is highly volatile. The perimeter lighting that you see emerge from this chaos guides you towards the airlock, but you quickly sense that there's something wrong. The lights flicker and dim, then they go dark. A tense moment passes, and then a red emergency backup light springs to life. It flickers unreliably as well. Something isn't right. And as you step inside, or excuse me, something isn't right, but you've got to get inside. You're too exposed to the harsh elements out here. So as you stagger towards the west airlock, weary from the 10 kilometer trek from Singleton's broken down tractor, first thing you've got to do is get into the airlock. Now you have folks with comm tech skills, so this isn't hard. Um, you don't need to roll anything to get into the facility. The door is open. There's still power to the base. But what you s see appears to be a battle zone. Evidence of small arms fire. Seismic survey charges having been detonated. Doors are torn apart. The ceiling and floor panels have been shredded. Crimson smear drag marks suggest mass casualties, but there are no bodies immediately visible. And unfamiliar acid burns still fizz and sizzle, filling the air with an acrid smell. What do you do, my friends, as you enter the facility and see all of this? Uh, I think I probably, I see an intercom uh, right inside the storage lock. I'm probably gonna immediately start like trying to call somebody. Okay, yeah, you do see an intercom, and you sig, uh, go to the comm, and you press the, the transmit button, and all you get is, here is static and a large squelch sound, suggesting that perhaps this unit is not working. Oh, okay. <laughs> I was like, oh, a different squelch sound would be less good. But <laughs> it's, a less, Holly... it's a less troubling squelch sound. <laughs> <laughs> Holly leans over to her buddy Hirsch and goes, this seems worse than a bar brawl. I mean, I know the bar's nearby, but 
this i mean this seems worse right i i cough a bit as that like stinging uh acidic smell is in the air and i pull out a grease stained blue bandana and kind of cover my mouth with it and look around yeah there was this was definitely something else <laughs> uh do I see any signs of, was there a ship outside or like, could this be um, some kind of, you know, raiders or pirates or something that I may have run into before in mm. my time in the Marines, that kind sure. of thing? Yeah, you, you've you seen that that type of damage before. You've seen raiders that have attacked bases or, or commandeered ships and that sort of thing. There has been no attack from outside the facility the only thing okay. that that is troubling outside is the atmosphere and the chaos of the lightning and the storms and and getting lost is very easy out there luckily you were able to get back i mean you're you're pretty happy that you made it back to the base at all but yeah inside you don't see any sort of destruction from without it seems like whatever happened was concentrated from inside this building are there any weapons laying around Ah, so you're going to do a little search. Why don't you give me an observation check? So we're going to get our first Show roll of the of the game here. Now, in Alien RPG, there's the idea is you're building a pool of six-sided dice. And there are there's base dice, which are related to your attributes and your skills. And there are stress dice, which is related to your stress level. So in this case, um, you know, Hirsch is going to be rolling the base dice for that uh, observation skill and then rolling one stress die. Okay, so... If my observation is zero and it's under wits, is, which has three, do I just roll the roll stress die or roll, I roll three. three? Okay, yep. gotcha. So you would add, you would say your your base um, attribute number plus the skill is your is your base pool. Does that make sense? Can I help him? Totally. Right? Because if right. I give him a help action, doesn't it add a die? It adds a die. Absolutely. You can certainly help. And I will also say this, that folks, if you are in uh, in the chat and you want to help, you can also help by adding an advantage die to any of the players that you would like. Well, that, mm -hmm. my friend, is a success, first of all. Um, was it just a one die that you're rolling, Jeremy? I know, so I, there was, when I rolled the three and then the stress, the stress was a six. There was three fives oh, got it. on the other ones and then another six. Okay. Yeah, from my help, yeah. Because so, we added the extra one a I didn't late. see the results. You did succeed, so we're going to roll for it to see what you found. But did you roll uh, on your stress die? What did you get on your stress die? I got a six on the stress die. Oh, shit. Okay, so that means that you're going to roll panic. So that, oh. you're going to panic already. So Dang. you have seen, let's, you know, play it out how you'd like to. But um, we'll see what the panic roll. But this this is troubling. You wouldn't expect okay. this kind of, of destruction inside. Plus, it's filthy dirty in here. And you're the you're the cleaner. So give me a D6 roll and let's see um let's see what happens here. This is okay. great. <laughs> that is a three. Okay, let's see here. Um that goes on the there's a cheat sheet. Panic rules, a three. Okay, so and that that's total with the uh with your addition of the one current stress. You, uh, oh, so do way, I roll? I'm sorry, sorry, what's that? So you roll this the D6 and then you add your current stress level. Okay, so then it'd be four. Four, got it. So you do manage to keep it together um, based on the on that result. You manage to keep your nerves in check barely. Okay. But you're still troubled, but it doesn't have like a mechanical impact on you. So that's good. Gotcha. gotcha. Now, you did also um, succeed in your observation check. So let's see what you found. Give me a, a D, uh, two D6s, and you're going to add them together. Okay. That is 11. 11. You find a motion tracker Ooh. that looks as though it is partially used. Um, okay. give, me, give me a D6 roll. 1, 2, 3 is 1, 2, 3, and 4, 5, 6 is also 1, 2, 3, because it's a D3 power supply. One. Okay. So you have a motion detector with a power supply of one. Okay. So make sure you note that. Perfect. And motion detectors can be used to detect motion. Every time you use them during a turn, you'll roll whatever that uh, power supply level is. So one, you'd roll one die. 
and if it comes up as a uh, as a six, you you basically it's it's out. It goes down by by um, by one. Gotcha. You. Yeah. All right. So there's a lot of stuff going on there that he was trying to observe. That I forgot what Holly's question was. What was your question, Holly? Oh, uh, I was just asking if this seemed kind of weird to you. Oh, uh, it's kind of weird to me. Are you? Are you okay? Yeah, it, it definitely seems. Sorry, I'm having a bit of a a moment here, and I kind of just leaned she against like, the wall. Yeah, she'll like smack you on the shoulder, like in a very friendly but like uh, firm way. Just be like, "Get it together, man!" <laughs> like. I don't know what's going on, but okay. Uh, well, if you need anything, let me know. And I'll, I'll actually point out the motion tracker to to Holly as I'm like trying to catch my breath from this little anxiety that's kind of crept in. Nice. Say, that that might come in handy if we're looking for. Uh, I don't know. Something. What were they using motion trackers for? I don't Some, know. Somebody's in here above my pay grade man ask the ask the chief over there or whatever the hell his name is i'll glare at buchanan yeah so i was gonna he ask while, while um while hirsch is looking around and 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 uh interacting with holly and now B pulling buchanan into this uh this little argument possibly uh what are the rest of you doing uh singleton what are you doing at, at this moment um probably cussing up a storm my rig died when we were out there and that's you know kind of my thing so before we went in i probably would have kicked it and pulled some sort of piece out of it that's busted so it's probably slung over my shoulder probably pretty greasy and um annoyed and then seeing all of this chaos uh, i think my first thought is that something or some someone, right, is up to shenanigans. So I'm going to not pay attention to the panicking Hirsch because I don't give two shits and a fuck what Hirsch has to say about anything, really. And um, push up to the <laughs> through the door. All right. And Sig, what what is Sig? What is Sunny Sig, our scientist, doing? Yeah, uh, so after the intercom, how long did it take us to uh, walk that 10 clicks? Because, like, I imagine Ooh. we're pretty yeah. rough. So yeah. a long time. Like, that's that's a pretty significant distance, especially in this weather. So you're you're weary. You know, there's no mechanical sort of, like, exhaustion. But, yeah, you're you're wiped out at this point. Absolutely. Um, I think that after, uh, was it Holly who, or <laughs> whoever uh, just... Uh, admonish Buchanan to like get us like what are we doing next uh, I think uh, Sig is going to be like slightly angling towards I think there's this uh, ladder this first ladder that goes down into the towards the bunks and stuff mm. so like I think Sig is like just kind of trying to hint like maybe we should take a nap a really good like shower we could have a good time um, whatever this is might be able to wait I don't know Isn't there blood on the floor? There is. Okay. There, there is blood on the floor. There, are, there's like streak like, marks. Someone else's <laughs> problem. I'm very no. tired. I can't. I can't help out with this very much. If there's a threat, like I'm not gonna be the best one for this. So, hey, Buchanan, are we taking and a nap or? Buchanan's already pulled his pistol, and he's just like, <laughs> like this at the back. And he's just looking around and he's just like, this is going to cost a fortune to repair. The company's not going to reimburse it. Do you know how to use that thing? Do you want me to show you? I think you probably end up hurting yourself. Uh, I wouldn't be so sure. What have you got? In your, what have you got there? What have you found? You've got eyes. Look at it yourself. Switch it on, dumbass. I'm going to mosey down the walkway hey. a little bit and and just keep an eye out for any any other things that may have been left behind. But I'm going to leave the most tracker on the ground and let Buchanan pick it up himself. Oh, I just look he's at Buchanan and say, uh, he's not a dumbass. He's just an ass. And I follow my friend. <laughs> well, then I'm going to pull rank on Hirsch then. That's my skill. I can pull rank. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Pick it up. What? 
I think you just made that up. No. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Paul Rank, order non-officer PCs around you to follow oh. orders. <laughs> okay. Uh, is that like rolled, contested or is something? Is that a manipulation yeah, roll? I'll go roll my command skill against the target's manipulation to make them follow orders. Okay. I also take one stress from it. Yep. All right. So you take one stress. And um, yeah, so go ahead and give me some rolls. And I have to roll manipulation? You're rolling manipulation. Yep. And that's plus my stress, right? Yes. Okay. And I add my stress to this as well, yeah? Yes, you do. So I add two, two stress yep. dice. Okay. Feel good. It's a lot of dice. <laughs> that is a lot of dice. So how many successes did you get, Jeremy? Now, success is how much and above? Um, It's a six. Whenever oh, you get a just six, a six. Yep, just a six. Okay, zero. Did you get you? So you got no successes on the no. on the uh, stress dice either. So that's yeah. No. Okay. What about you, uh, Buchanan? I I got two fives. That's the most I've got. So that's the highest. <clears throat> so it's it's a bit of a uh, bit of a standoff. You both look I'm down just... at the motion tracker, and you're both kind of standing there awkwardly for a moment. I'm going to interject. I'll grab it. I'll throw it unkindly at Buchanan. Uh, just be like, God damn it. We're, I'm too tired for this. Uh, and I would like to use my talent for analysis. Uh, if Unless uh, Shiv wants to do something with the motion tracker, I just threw at him. No, I'll, I'll be like, sons of bitches. <laughs> Already. In, we, in we subordination is what this is. Yeah. Hey, hey, we're all we're all tired, oh. all like, expected to come back and take a nap and and have a drink, and, and now something else is going on. So let's just, uh, you know. This is all just... going in your reports. You don't understand that. This this in behavior. This oh, I won't have mutiny here. I didn't even do anything. Are and you my whatever. real boss? It doesn't matter. None of this matters. There's blood everywhere, you guys. Just get on with it. Do your analysis. <laughs> all right, Kay. Okay. So give us an analysis roll. Make sure you add your one stress die. Absolutely. So yeah, uh, it's a roll for observation to gain insight on alien things. I don't necessarily know that this is alien related yet, but uh, each success lets you ask a question. Uh, succeeding failing will cause plus one, minus one stress. Uh, so I have a four wits, two observations. So I guess that's six black die, one yellow die, right? Yep. Yep. All right. Oh, oh my. I got two, uh, three sixes, six, six, yeah. six. Yep, and a triple four. six. So what questions would you like to ask? Uh, I mean, I guess uh, one, is this related to the specimens and infections that uh, have been in the station? Uh, I also want to know, like, um, what fluids, what bodily fluids could be part of what species? Uh, and then like when, uh, if I can figure out like when this happened in this specific area, that'd be, that'd be rad. Okay, yeah. So you as a lab technician and a scientist here at, at uh, LV246, you have overheard conversations amongst some of the senior scientific staff that definitely, has filled you in on the fact that there are some xenomorph specimens that are being studied in, in the E block of the, of the facility. Um, you also have overheard them talking about a strange acidic like blood type organ that, th that these creatures have, which could potentially tie to some of the acid burns and some of that um, damage that you're seeing. So you're kind of putting those pieces together. And then with the timing of it, it's amazing that all of this went down in the matter of like 24 hours since you left to go out to the processor nine. So all of this has happened quite recently. And that's why like you can still smell like this small munitions fire smoke. And there's still like probably some little, you know, small little um, burning areas where there's a little bit of wisps of smoke coming out. So it looks like this was fairly recently. All right, so I'll... I'll... Uh, after 
you know, sniffing the acid spots or whatever, you know, whatever scientists do, I guess. <laughs> I'll turn to everyone. Okay, so uh, from when from when we sent that message and they told us to stand by, I think that's kind of when this started. Uh, it's all happened since we were coming back and I, I, I don't know how much you know about the infections and things going on, but there was um, some of the older or my seniors uh, in the science um, science division, you know, they were talking about like this infection, which was actually just like a, a, a Xeno creature of some kind. It's supposed to have like acidic blood. So that's probably what some of this uh, acidic scoring is from. Um, but that was in E block. We're in C block, right? It's not that uh, yeah, you, well, yeah, you're, you're in the edge of C block. Absolutely. Yep. Okay. Uh, and I'm going to go ahead and bring up the map so folks can kind of get a layout. You all, of course, living here and working here know, uh, the layout of this place, but yeah, you are in the West block here. Um, E block, of course, is down at the South end here. And this little red red uh, icon is where you are, and we'll move that around as you move around. Jake, I I appreciate your opinion and what you know, but that just sounds ridiculous. Like, something. yeah, Zeno, what now? Yeah, I think that's a made up word. I think so. Yeah, um, it's uh, this... uh, let's say a parasite or uh, of some sort. How about that? Well, this uh, looks like they've been using some kind of chemical warfare on each other. S science experiment gone wrong? As you say that, you hear the intercom crackle to life. <laughs> this is an emergency message. All colonists must immediately assemble at the main storeroom on the sub-level for safety. <laughs> this is an emergency message. All colonists <laughs> must... <laughs> Main storeroom, safety, and then it goes dead. Okay. We had what we had to do. All right, let's go. And I will say that as you hear this, you know that not only was it, did something weird happen here, but this is a facility-wide issue. And as a result, you are all going to take a level of stress I'm just updating mm -hmm. that now. But three already. <laughs> we talked about this in guy. session zero, Shiv, <laughs> that you were going to be the one yeah. to panic first. We'll see. We'll see. Yeah. This is what you get for throwing your weight around. That's it. Oh, 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 oh. Middle management, dude. <laughs> right? Yeah. All right. It's time to come up with a plan, you guys. You, you, you know that this is a, a facility-wide problem. What do you want to do? I have one question before we decide. Was that, yes. uh, it sounded like an automated message, but was it like a live, it was automated. It was an automated message, yeah. Okay. So we know that Would gets triggered. That automated message be something that is like triggered if an emergency distress beacon or something was hit somewhere. Like what is the procedure protocol that we would know where that sort of message would be sent out to the entire facility, not just per block. So if there were, this kind of thing would happen, for example, if there was an atmospheric um, breach in the base itself, um, even though the, there, it's breathable air outside that could jeopardize sort of the long-term uh, viability, if there's a chemical spill of some kind, uh, if the mining uh, that's taking place in the vicinity ran into some like underground gaseous um, body that exploded. Um, if there was an outbreak of disease, perhaps, um, you know, the fungal, the, the, the toe fungus situation in the communal showers can be a big problem. So there's a variety of different sort of environmental uh, problems that might happen in a facility like this. And the protocol is, as, as you heard from the message, to assemble in the sub level. Uh, for safety so um that would be sort of like the the fire alarm you know sort of vibe that you'd get here and of course people like buchanan you know their job is to make sure you understand process you understand you know you've read the safety manuals and maybe you have maybe you haven't i don't know it's probably in your personnel file which i'll check later on <laughs> when i get time so 
first things first, communications. We need some communications to work here in case we need to contact the company. And if what Sig said was true, we might want to see if we can remotely lock down block E if there's anything crazy going on there. So. Well, which wait, T, uh, if people are sick, block E is where the medical bay is. I mean, maybe people need, need medical attention, right? Have you looked around? It's, we're far beyond that now. There All might right. be any survivors here. Yes, so sir. My my number one obligation is this facility. The people in it, we could be the only one survivors. So, Holly, communications. Riz, you're with me. Hirsch, you take point. We'll try and see what we can do. Sig, just, I don't know. I'll chuck Sig the uh, motion detector. Try and get this thing to work. Take point. Take point, really? I've are read your file. I know what you're are all you, about. You know trying to, to use words that you don't even know what they mean. And that's why you're pushing a mop. Just shut up and do what he asks uh, you to do. We don't have time for your smart ass shit today, Hirsch. I pick some more debris out of my like very hefty beard. We didn't have to walk back. I'd probably be in a better mood. <laughs> So I would say the moment I get the order to do communications, I think, do I have some kind of communicator or uh, no, thing like that there that I can are, try to contact? Yeah, so no, you don't have like a personal communication device, but what there is, and SIG already attempted this, is there's there's an intercom system. So you go up, there's a wall panel, okay. basically. Now, SIG can I try already, to fix the yeah, panel? Yeah, you, you could there certainly try it, to. Right? Um what I'll say is that without making you roll, you would you would try to fix it and you're like, well, first of all, do you have com do you have com tech as a skill? Maybe that would be a good yes. Place. You do. Okay. I so do. you you take one look at it and you can see that it it's it's not functional. You press the buttons, it's like this thing busted. isn't it's busted. Um, or something's wrong with the overall communication system. And you also know that based on the garbled uh relay of the emergency message that there's something going on with the with the overall communications of this place the lights are flickering so there's a little bit of maybe a an electrical surge perhaps that happened maybe from some of the some of the gunfire or some of the seismic charges mm -hmm. that were detonated that kind of thing is there like a control room or something where we could go and like try to fix some of this yeah stuff? so looking back at the map let me bring up the map screen here for folks so for example there is um the on block so let's see the second level over on uh b2 there's mm. a, there's a command crew quarters so that's sort of like where the ready room is that's where the security team uh would be that's their sort of their offices and then there's a command center in e2 and that's where you would find you know like the people who are running the show that would be where they're speaking with with um some of the roughnecks that are out doing work on them different mining claims and that kind mm. of thing Okay, so then Holly would turn back to Buchanan uh, after tinking around with the with the box for a minute and are like, all right, here's the status report. I've got good news and I've got bad news. Good news is I know how we can fix this uh, by going to the control room. Bad news is it's in block E where all this shit started. So I'll leave that what she want to do. But if you can get me to that room, I'm sure I can fix stuff. Okay, then we know what we have to do. Any luck with the motion detector, Sig? Uh, I think so. Um, where do you want to hook it up? So the motion detector is like a handheld device. Uh, think think aliens when they're when they're walking around and they turn it on and you'd, you'd get like pulses of wherever there might be movement. And it has a limited distance indoors and outdoors are different, but um, it would it would potentially give you some indication if there's anybody moving about the area, the general area. We don't know what power level we have for that thing. Maybe just give it a quick burst, see if we can detect anything, and then we'll save what we have. Uh, well, we can use it again uh, closer to uh, the command center. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, I'll I'll turn it on just and uh, I guess I'll uh, should I roll? Um, no. So you turn it on um, first of all. So it it ought, it works. What we'll do is we'll roll for a power supply, and I think I have that. Let me see if I have that it's, written down here. Uh, the one right. Yeah, it has. So it, yeah, it does have a one uh, power supply, and let me just remember. 
So you roll the number of stress die equal to the current power supply rating. Um, for every alien that you roll on that, it's decreased by one. So as long as you don't re roll an alien, it will continue to keep that power supply. So you're going to roll one yellow die. Um, but before you do that, or there you go, that's fine. Sorry. Oh. All right, so you got a, you got a, you did not get an alien, so that's good. Um, you do see that there is a motion detected in C1. You get a boop, boop, boop. <laughs> we couldn't, we could only hear the first one, Dave. <laughs> <laughs> when I go like this, it sounds like. No, he's like, <laughs> as you are, it's too high. <laughs> yeah, it's, you're just making this. Here, here we go. Boop. Boop. Ah. <laughs> sort of. <laughs> uh, glancing at that, I'm going to, I am going to take point, even though I, mean, I don't. Because I want to, not because I was told to. Right, exactly. <laughs> I'm not listening to Buchanan. <laughs> To be clear, I'm just be doing clear. it yeah. because I want to protect my friends um, who are not Buchanan. <laughs> um, but, uh, you know, looking around at all of this and knowing that there might be somebody up there that's going to like hose me down with acid or something, I really don't want to just walk into this without anything to arm myself with. So until I find anything else, I've got this little blowtorch. I'm assuming the blowtorch means like just a little blowtorch and not like the flamethrowers that they have in the movie. Um, yeah, right. It's more of a tool than a weapon. Yeah. Yep. So I'm going to take that and have it ready to, you know, burn someone's face off if they come at me. But I also want to keep my eye out on, you know, the ground as I go. And if there's any, like, even just like a piece of rebar or something, you know, that I can thwack somebody with. Absolutely. And and just to be clear, you can use the cutting torch as a weapon. You just need to be at the engaged range. So you got to be like right up next to somebody. Right. Yep. And then just Oof. light them up. Yeah. Um, yeah. So you're going to look around to see if you can find any additional um, anything useful. Is that is that what I heard? Yeah. Yeah. OK. Yeah. Give me a give me an observation check. And I'll make sure that you, you roll your yeah. um, your base dice plus Oops. your um, your Stress dice. And then let me know what you got. All right. So we have uh -oh. a six on stress. <laughs> oh, we no. got a six on not stress. So yeah, two sixes, one on each. Okay. So you are successful. So first of all, let's adjudicate that. Give me another D6 roll. Got a five. Um, actually, roll one more because it's 2d6, so you'll add this next one to that five. So that would be an eight. You find uh, not a piece of rebar as a weapon, but you do find a med kit that oh. looks like it was dropped or strewn to the side in the hallway as you're walking towards wherever you're headed next. So you do have a gotcha. med kit in your inventory now. And uh, you can use is that, that med to... kit like, is it a, like a suitcase kind of thing, or is it like just mm -hmm. a little... Yeah, All it's right. kind of like a suitcase. I, I mean, I can swing that at somebody's head. Sure. Well, I, I can <laughs> hang on to it for you, Hirsch. Oh, uh, yeah. Just, you know, if somebody comes at you, just swing at them with it and try to clock them out. Sure. Or I, I can also use it as its intended purpose if needed. <laughs> you know. I mean, if, if, if needed. Yeah. But we won't need it. Now, Hirsch, you also need to roll okay. a panic roll for me. So you're going to roll okay. a um, a d6, and you're going to add your current stress level. And actually, your current stress level is now a three. I need to remember to do that. So you have three stress. Okay. That's a nine. Okay. So as you're as you are starting to realize the the dire situation, there's something up ahead. You don't know if that's a survivor, one of your fellow colonists. You don't know what it is. You know, Sonny Sig is talking crazy things about creatures that are being studied in E Block. You don't know. Um, so you drop. What are you holding right now? The torch. You the drop torch, yeah. the torch. And, my, and your stress my hands level, start shaking. I don't even notice shake. it at first. And your stress goes up again. So now you're oh. at four. 
Okay. <laughs> you're just shaking. You drop the torch on the ground as you're having this conversation with uh, with uh, Holly. And I, my hand's shaking, and I, I kind of grab it, and I close my eyes, and I start muttering to myself for a moment as I'm, like, massaging my hand. It, it, it's okay. It, they're there. Uh, I kind of awkwardly touch your shoulder. <laughs> There's a lot of this going on. Hang in there. Like, it's a Pull really it bad thumbs up. It's kind of like... Pull it together, Hush. We're gonna. Hey, that's not helpful right now. <laughs> Do you want to go first? Yeah, yeah. Hey, I just, just gotta get out of my god, Mike. Nope, you can't. <laughs> I got this. I got this. Just leave him be, okay? You're just gonna make it worse. No along. offense, boss. That's chief, if you don't mind. I'll, chief, uh, boss. Aren't they adjec Aren't they like synonyms or what? Or adjectives? Oh, the same or, thing. Just the word. Yeah, let's just let's move on. We're, come on, get your friend together oh. and let's keep going. I am. You're making it worse. Quit it. We're on the clock, Holly. Come on. Oh, my God. Okay. Oh my Hirsch. God. Hirsch, Hirsch, here's, here's, people. Tick tock. Hirsch, here's your mop. Hold on to that for strength. You're going to be okay. And then when this. Where'd is, you find my mop? You've, hold it, you've had it the whole time. Um, but when this is over, we're going to get a stiff drink and everything's going to be fine, bucko. I uh I kneel down looking like I'm going to pick up the the torch. We're fucking kneeling now. But there's definitely like the moment like he just like takes a moment and breathes and tries <laughs> to like get the, the trembling to stop. He's he's been in moments like this before, which is part of why he's here now instead of, you know, still in the core. But uh he uh once he he Gets it under control. He picks up that torch and starts off again. The promise of alcohol keeps us going. Right. Onward. Isn't there, it. um, so we're, we know that it's in C1, not upstairs. Well, like, you know, it's in, you, yeah, you, you know, it's in block C. Um, that's about as good oh, okay. as you know so far, but you could also try it again. So, what I've got for you guys right now is I've, I've advanced your token. So that you're right on the edge of the actual C block itself. So I'm, I was going to ask you what you want to do at this point. Um, if you want to try to determine if the thing is on the same level that you are, or if it's on the level above, um, whether that's, you know, whatever that might be. Re knowing for sure that you have a limited power supply for the uh, motion tracker as well. Uh, and then if there's, if there's anything that you want to do in C block. So you guys know that C block uh, for C1, for example, houses the commercial offices uh, of the facility. And as, as you sort of think about it, this is where the corporates, right? The, uh, the middle management and upper management meet, do their business, have meetings, talk about the fate of the blue collar roughnecks and the rest of the, of the, of the workers. Um, it's f as, and you know, this Hirsch, that this place is relatively neat and tidy compared to a lot of the other areas of the facility. You also know that it's typically well stocked with coffee and donuts. Which is definitely what we need right now. <laughs> Bring so a cheer us up. Yeah, you're right at the basically you're right at the uh, the entrance to C block right now as you're having this this conversation and and you're being sort of talked down from your your sort of near panic sort of situation. We want to try the sensor again. Uh, see if we can't hone in on where the signal is coming from. Do we just want to clear every room? Do you think uh, Will and Yutani has some information about, like, anyone had kept any logs uh, in the last 24 hours, even if it was a little off the rails? I just look at Buchanan. I mean, that's this. this is the sort of thinking I want to hear. This is the sort of forward thinking I want. This is good stuff. Good stuff, Sig. Well done. Yeah, this is what we want. Maybe Sig should be in charge then. Uh, well, we about that. <laughs> well, yeah, I don't know either. Let's, let's, let's <laughs> turn the machine on. Let's see what happens, and then we'll decide from there, or I'll decide from there. We'll see what happens. Okay. Going, uh, going to the corner, like putting my back up against the corner and blowtorch in my hand, I just take a deep breath and very 
quietly just try and peek around to see if anyone's waiting there to spray acid on my head, shoot me, something. Absolutely. Yeah, you're you're a ex marine, right? Not to not to be a spoiler, but you've got the skills to sort of like, you know, um, scout and you know what to look for, and you 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 peek your head around the corner and you can see that there are there are blood stains on the ground in here as well it's much uh the hallway itself at least as you peer down it is is in disarray it looks like whatever was happening in that west airlock spread into the c block as well it looks damaged um and you know that there are a variety of different rooms in here conference rooms and that sort of thing some cubicle land that that type of stuff there is an uh, an access um lift uh, in, I'll sh let's see, here we go. There's a lift right here that would get you if you wanted to go up. And these are these are hallways here. This is like a, um, a uh, uh, or actually, no, this is an outdoor, this is a hallway that's above you on the next level. So you're on the ground level right now. And sort of these faded light things are, are skywalks basically above you. So you would know that if you want to get up to the next level, you'd either, you'd have to go up this lift maybe, or you'd have to go outside at some point to get to some of the other parts of the base. I mean, we want to go upstairs for the comms thing anyway, right? Yeah. Yeah. And you don't see yeah, any yeah. any immediate threats in the hallway okay. to answer your question. I'll scoot back. It's like there's no one there. Good. Just to, to go ahead and ping that thing again. Hey. All right. So you turn on the motion tracker and you see that there is a ping it appears to be it's unclear if it's on your level or the level above you okay. but for a moment you get the boom, boom. i need you to roll a power supply for me which is the the one, um, one stress die yep oh and that I is the, the last oh. yeah that's the last time that unfortunately that you get the uh the motion tracker, you like shake it. It's like, well, this thing's out of juice. Damn corporate crap. Okay, that's not a bad thing. We can fix this. It's salvageable. I'm sure. Yep, it definitely is salvageable. And I'll pull out of the back pocket of my... Um flights like you what the hell like those suits you know what i'm talking about you know like a jumpsuit like like overalls is it jumpsuit that's the word i've got it like a white shirt on underneath and i've got like the long sleeves of the jumpsuit tied around me and in the pocket i'll pull out i have my own motion detector nice there we go didn't fix this I'm one turn it on. i'm just gonna say that we have one by the yeah. way that that's an awesome visual of singleton with the jumpsuit kind of like open to the waist, tied around. I love that. Mm -hmm. Yes. So good. Nice. Go ahead, Shiv. I didn't mean to oh. cut you off. No, no. I was just to say to, to Riz, be like, great backup. Forward thinking. I like it. And that's uh, Dave, would we know whose desks are in here? Um, Probably not, you know. Um, possibly... Uh, Buchanan would know some of the desks. Um, or is that more upstairs where like the executives are and stuff? Well, this is kind of like where the, the meetings would happen. There's like middle management, like probably Buchanan's office would be in here. I'm guessing he's sort of like middle, he's middle management for the most part. Um, so there, you know, you'd probably know Buchanan, some of your neighbors um, who are working in here. But the, the high level stuff is usually taken care of upstairs, and that's where the corporate okay. offices are. I think Holly would definitely be looking for like some of the executives' desks, see if she can find anything. But I think she's gonna save that for up when they get upstairs. Okay. All if right, so Buchanan's office is on this level in this area, I think that we should try there first. Maybe they've sent out some sort of mail or something buchanan should have some access codes to uh figure out certain things that we don't have the knowledge to you know the ability yeah. to get to. so maybe sure. we should hit your office if it's in this part of the block yep sounds good i like that you know that I'd sounds good feel a lot better if i was uh holding that gun up here 
<laughs> yeah, I'm sure you would. You got your mop, friend. You'll be fine. <laughs> I'll look down at the blowtorch and look at Buchanan's melon. Hey, um, do I see him do this? Because I'll be like, you got to get close enough, buddy. This it's it's gun's pretty quick. Range. It's pretty quick. Oh, but, right, okay. uh, yeah, you probably don't notice it. Nah, that's good. Then I'll, I'll go ahead and go around the corner and keep leading the way. All right, so you guys, the five of you enter into the C block um, following Hirsch as your lead. Um, and you you do make it into uh, Buchanan's desk area. So Buchanan, you... you you look about, nothing seems different. It, it looks like whatever the, the fight was going on or whatever the conflict was didn't really spill into the cubicle that you work in. And all of you sort of see now like what a sad existence this middle management has sitting at these cubicles and dealing with this. And you might even be a, a, a little, um, you might even feel a little sympathy, possibly, maybe not. Maybe you don't care about Buchanan, but, um, but yeah, it's pretty bleak. And you don't really find much of any sign that tells you anything. In fact, if anything, you notice that this this office is dirtier than most of the other offices. Almost like someone doesn't, doesn't bother clean to clean it. it. <laughs> Damn, I'll, I'll I'll take the the ventilation system over this any day. No offense. Yeah, I, no, I mean, don't don't worry. I've been. I just I just like working my hands. I don't like to sit here and all day. You know, I don't I don't know how you do it. Well, it's it, it's a required skill. It takes a lot of brain power. And you'll see on the desk, his desk, there's like a picture of him and a woman. So obviously he was married at one point, but maybe no longer. <laughs> As he's I showing think... you this photo uh, that from his desk, uh, yeah. you hear in the air ducts above you, the vents, you hear a like a skittering. And you all look up. And as you do, one of the vents opens and a creature that looks like sort of a, a, a it, it skitters down, it drops down onto you. It kind of looks like a crab with a really long tail. And you guys are, <laughs> have been poking about. This thing snuck up on you with the roll that I just made. And we're going to have to go into an initiative. That was. Yep. God so, damn. so we're going to go into initiative for this um, as this face hugger um, drops down on you. It has been skittering about. Uh, and now you know that indeed whatever uh, whatever was on your motion detector is now in the room with you. So I'm going to go ahead and draw some initiative cards for you guys. The lowest initiative goes first. This is getting good. Hey, Lord Gazumba, thanks for the raid. Great to see us. So, Hirsch. Just in time. Number one, Hirsch. We just got it. Okay. Thanks for the raid, everybody. Uh, yeah. Sig, you are number seven. Polly. You are number four. Singleton. Riz, you're number five. And my good man, Buchanan, number six. Nice. And the face hugger, they get uh they get two, actually. Oh so wow. we're gonna shuffle these last these last bits up. We have an eight. That's good. It's gonna go towards the end. And a nine, so it's going last. So, Hirsch, this thing drops down, and it is in clo It is engaged with you. It drops down, and it it kind of like lands right on the floor next to you. What do you do? Okay. Um, given his stress level already, uh, he kind of wigs out. Uh, what in God's name is that? And I'm just going to try and stomp on it. Like, I don't have anything really to hit it with. Uh, and and it's it's bug looking. Yeah, I'm just going to try and stomp on it. You also have, you do have the, the torch as well, but stomping it works fine. Completely doesn't even think about the torch. Awesome. That's, yeah. So go ahead and roll a uh, close combat roll for me and make sure that you're also including... Uh, your stress die, which is now uh, has gone up, because now you see the first alien, so you have five. Oh, goodness okay. gracious. Okay, so just just to verify, I have five strength, so I roll five for that, and yep. I have three for close combat, so I roll eight total dice, Correct. plus the five. Okay. Yep. Okay. That's a lot of dice. This gets huge. Yep. We're going to roll some dice two, now. Three, four, five, six, seven, 
eight. Thanks and for then, being here, everybody. We appreciate the uh, raid from Lord Gazumba and friends. Uh, if you want, if you like what we're doing here, please consider shit. following the channel. Oh, shit. We're playing Alien RPG. Uh oh. So <laughs> you do you do have a success. So you do one damage to this this uh, face hugger that is now okay. uh, on the ground in front of you. However, I do need you to make, you do gain one more, jeesh, Jeremy, you're already up to six now. Uh, six stress. Yeah, that's that's crazy. I need you to make a, uh, a D6 roll and add six to it for your current stress levels. And we're going to find okay. out what the hell's going on with your panic roll this time. So that is eight. All right. You begin to tremble uncontrollably. All skill rolls using agility are going to be at negative two modification. Okay. Okay. So that that'll that'll make sure that you keep track of that. I I won't probably keep track of that as well. So if you can keep track of that, that would be great. Sure. You do stomp down on this thing, and it kind of like recoils from the from the hit, uh, and it skitter tries to skitter away from you a little bit. It's still definitely alive. Um, that brings us to, um, let's see. I think that was, uh, Holly. Wait. Holly had a four, right? Um. Yes, I had a four. So we're pretty close to the elevator, right? Um, you are, I would say, let me get back to the map here. You're like, in one is there of, yeah. a way that I can use my fast action <clears throat> to get to the elevator and my slow action to like get it going so that we can escape? You could use your fast action to get to the next zone, which I think the elevator would be in for sure. Um, so yes, you could run. Because I feel like that's where I'm going to be the most <clears throat> useful is to get us that escape out of here. So, yeah, I think I'll do that. And then my slow action, I think I can um, use an item. Would that count as like trying to turn on the elevator or would I need to just do that on my next turn? Um, I think you would use your, your fast action to run, uh, and you can use your slow action to like hit the elevator button. Yeah. That's yeah. what I'm thinking. Sure. I think that's fair. Well, then I'll fair. use Absolutely. my next action to like hold the door so that people can get in on their turns. Okay. That sounds good. So you're, you're at the elevator. You just run. You guys watch as, yeah. as Holly takes off running. Yeah. I, uh, well, I don't just take off running without saying anything. <laughs> I, I would say, uh, let's get out of here. I'm going to. Like, follow me. And then I run towards the elevator because I'm like, I do not want to do anything with that. And I want to keep my friends safe more than anything. Okay. She Who's she takes friend? off running. <laughs> yeah, right. Uh, that brings us to Singleton. Well, I'm equipped with more than a mop. But uh, uh, if we're hitting them right in the door, I think I want to conserve some firepower. Um, if I want to assist, like, stomp on it kind of like how um, Hirsch did so that we're not using all of the bullets that we have. What kind of roll is that? So you're going to roll pass? close combat. Now for you, okay, if do you, have do you have, yep. So it's going to be going to your character sheet here real quick. So Singleton, you're going to be rolling, uh, so you have a four strength, and you have yep. one in close combat, so you're going to be rolling five black dice, but then you're also going to be rolling uh, three of the yellow dice. Yep. <clears throat> oh, not four. Clear that. One... Okay. See. Uh oh. So you did succeed, right? You got a, a two sixes. It looks like to me. Mm -hmm. Is that right? Yep. yep. Two sixes. So for close combat, you you hit, doing damage. Uh, so you do one damage with your with your boot stomp, but you also get to to you do a stunt. So if you uh, look on the uh, skills, skill stunts page, you can inflict one additional point of damage. You can trade initiative cards with the target. You can knock or pull an item out of the target's hand that doesn't really apply. Knock it to the ground that doesn't apply. Or you could grapple it. Ooh, I... 
Oh. I'm having out of character, in character um, conflict in that. I think I'm just going to give it extra damage. I'm not grappling a face hugger. I'm so sorry. Yeah, that makes a not lot of sense it. to me. Yeah, I think I think you're making just the right. Put your face right on call. it. Just be like, Rawr. yeah, head, just no. headbutt it. It'll be fine. What's right. the worst that could happen? Well, just headbutt it. Words of wisdom. Uh. Um, you you stomp on the thing uh, and you give it everything you've got and you crush it and it is dead lying on the ground. It just kind of kind of like recoils and twitches a little bit and then it just yeah closes up and just sits motionless on the ground and i'll look at hirsch and say burn that son of a bitch with that torch please do not leave that thing here you gonna give and it a I'll burn kind of turn to our scientist and apologize for burning scientific alien specimens but fuck that thing I appreciate that. I'm sure we have more in the uh, more in uh, e uh, e block, but uh, I'm fine Don't with getting things rid of like this that. Thing. Don't say things like that. <laughs> Hirsch, do you want to burn it with the torch? Oh hell yeah! All right, give me a. Uh, it's it's an automatic hit on this thing, um, but I do want you to roll power supply. So that would be three. I think you have a th power supply of three. Yep. Um, this is the, uh, yeah, the, the torch. So roll three yellow dice and any sixes that pop up will decrease that power supply. You mean any ones? Uh, sorry. Yeah. Any ones. So you are oh, good. Okay. Yeah. You're good. Nice. So it's yeah. Any aliens. Thank you. So you are good on that. You burn this thing to a crisp and the scientific oh. discovery, Sonny is, is torched. Um, maybe, uh, maybe to your relief, maybe not. Everything I'm goes quiet. It smells pretty horrible, like yeah. acidy. Yeah, yeah. There's vapors that are coming off of it that are probably toxic, <laughs> for sure. It's really quiet, and then you guys hear Ding! as the elevator arrives. <laughs> <laughs> nice. So that that kind of snaps you all out of this this sort of shock. And you make your way to the elevator where your friend Holly is holding the door for you. I got it. I got the door. I got the door. Everybody get in. And you've been living uh, here a while. That no one's ever held the door for me, so I'm really appreciating this. Yeah. And <laughs> exactly. don't expect it, Sig, all right? I'm just holding the door for everyone. No Good special work, treatment. Team, Good work. So you get in the lift. Okay, and you, you're you sitting there for a minute. Is there uh, elevator music in space? I think there probably is. Yeah. It's oh. the girl from Ipanema. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Survived nice. for thousands of years. That will never die, for sure. So the doors the doors open after you enjoy a little bit of your girl from Ipanema. And um, you most of you have not visited these offices. So this is the corporate level of C Block. Uh, maybe, well, Hirsch and Buchanan are, have been here. Hirsch is the cleaner, let's be honest, one of the cleaners. And um, Buchanan, usually when you're summoned to the corporate offices, it's not great news. So, but you have been up here before. Block C houses the office of your supervisor, Al Simpson, who oversees the, the entire colony. Um, and uh, as you enter into the space, uh, you know... You know where that is, and you know the space somewhat well. You pass by or step forward to the door to Simpson's office, and you can see that there's someone sitting in a ch in his chair. Their back is turned, so they're facing away from you, and they're motionless. Okay, I think I'm gonna. Be is it like before a... we get off the Buchanan, do not move. I would like to motion tracker our area in case one of those little bug things is going to try to bite us again. Good. That's good a good. Idea. That's a good call. Good call, Riz. Just, just about as he's just about to step off, he's like, maybe not. <laughs> yeah, I'm just going to throw my arm out. I'll throw my arm out in front of him as he's about to step off. He stopped short hold. with Buchanan. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, so it is, what is it to roll for that again? I'm sorry, Dave. Sorry, what are you, I, I missed it. What are you doing? 
motion tracker motion tracker oh a motion tracker. so the power supply so your power supply and your motion tracker i believe is a three mine's five five oh, damn this thing's brand yeah, new nice. well charged uh that's singleton for you always planning ahead if uh, only so taking care and... of your car better than this Ooh. <laughs> Oh, no, roll, no, roll stop. You're gonna, you're gonna Five piss her yellow off. dice. Five yellow dice for me. Five yellow dice. Yeah. Now's not the time, Ash. Now's not the time. <laughs> Even as you hear him say that, like you can see he's holding his hand, which is just shaking. He's just pouring sweat. It's <laughs> it's just a survival tactic, him being me. Riz is the only one we should actually be scared of because she could totally kick our ass, okay? Go ahead and give me that roll. Yeah, I pushed it. I'm just waiting on um, waiting for it to do something. There it is. Oh, oh. oh. I got a right. six and a one both. One, yep. Yeah. So you and decrease the power supply to four. Okay. No big deal. You're still good. Um, and you do get a ping. You see a ping coming from uh, block B. Uh, Comes see if from I can... B, which is behind yep. us. There we go. Block B. Okay. Yep. Okay. So it's across the uh, the skywalk to the next uh, the next you know module of the facility, and it pings for a moment and then disappears. Can we uh, can we all touch base just for a second? Uh, uh, because we fought an alien, which is bad. Do we want to just? get the fuck out of here or do we want to try to save people like what's our goal at this point because like that was bad and i feel like we should leave do you Is know how me? much stuff i have down there in in the in the shop i can't just leave that's I, fine we took i'm the just be all out for a maintenance run, but that doesn't mean that my sweet, sweet grease lightning is not still in the bay. Okay. And okay. I'm not leaving it. That's fine. I just wanted I just want us to be on the same page. Cause like at this point, I'm like, is it even worth communicating to corporate? Should we just save yeah. how many of those things did you have in there? I look at Sig. Um do we have an idea for how many like specimens they had collected uh, before we left? Or hmm, I would say that you're not a hundred percent sure. But if you want to make an observation, or if you want to do an analysis, yeah, I would I would allow that, and you can ask that question. Absolutely. Uh, also, then we should go see whose body's in the chair. Right. <laughs> That's what I'm planning to do next. No, none of the motion picked up, so... Yeah, no. And also, uh, Shiv, I just sent you a message in chat. My stress level still just two. I no, you're at three now. I'm at three as well. Okay. Yep. All right, so then I am rolling nine dice all together. Okay. Oh. More chances to roll uh, aliens and sixes. Yep. Two, four, five, six. One, two, three. I got one six, I believe. Okay, that's perfect. So you, you're you basically wondering or trying to recall uh, how many specimens. There were multiple specimens, and you also know that there are mul multiple life stages of the specimens that are currently being studied in E-Block. So I will, I'll, I'll mention that. So, like, there's definitely more than one that we had uh, before, before, uh, we all left to, um, what was it, Platform 9 or something? Processor 9, yeah. <laughs> Processor 9, sorry. Uh, so, yeah, there, there were several. They, they come in multiple life stages. So I'm assuming that they would have gone to, tried to get a couple at each life stage. Uh, I don't know how they were being contained. Um, I think well, it's checking. We don't know. I like. I mean, I don't know what these things are really capable of. Just, well, I mean... Like, if there are survivors elsewhere and and we just killed one and we have to assume that they you know killed others because i mean that was that was intense but obviously we did it it, it, it can't be that bad 
Oh, knowledge is power. I think that we should try to figure it out, at least. And we can, uh, you know, we can go try to get to B block. If B block is uh, more dangerous than the last, then we can try and get out of here on Riz's um, creased lightning. So. Um, so about getting out of here, I'm pretty sure there's only like one way off this rock. Oh. It's the corporate shuttle. Well, <clears throat> I just happen to be a pilot and could probably fly us the hell out of here on that shuttle. But there is way too much company merchandise to just leave behind. There's like mm. a lot of things that need to be secured and taken care of before we just up and abandon all of all of the base like that's just not feasible holly to just leave all of our equipment behind and uh i don't know about you but i'm not trying to be in the same situation as hirsch where my next ride is a broom because i think i'm a wizard so no <laughs> I'm just oh. saying maybe we should secure that ride sooner rather than later before it's too late. If there are survivors, they're probably thinking the same thing. I'll look at Holly and be like, how did you know about that? Uh, how do I know about that? That's a really good question. Um, I don't think we talked Shaky about how gun I... Hunt. <laughs> <laughs> well, you, you, no, no, no. you know, there would be how rumors. Know there, there's a rumor mill in these places. You know, if when, when there's a corporate shuttle that lands, um, you know, that's pretty significant. You know, like, especially when it's, okay. un, it's unannounced, the way that Reynolds so, and Kaminsky made their way here. I'll say, um, I'll say... All I know is that I've been asked to do some repairs on some stuff, and I know more than I think you know I know, boss. But I do think there's certain people that have access to those shuttles. So I want to look yeah, around for those people's desks because it's possible that they're not alive because look at that thing. What if they've already taken off? What if these people aren't here because they already left us here? I guess no. that's possible, but we gotta try. We gotta try. Did you say no? No, this that it just looks a bit awkward, like right. So uh, What do you mean no? How do you know they haven't left? Because they were going to before we went out and they obviously didn't get the opportunity to. So You're saying they were gonna leave us here. Well, they're executives, of course. What, what do you think? They're going to stick around and clink glasses with us? Of course not. Okay, well, uh, I'm going to look around for... I know two executives who have key cards. So I'm going to go look for their desks. Is and one I'm going to kind of... Walk I'm going to check out the body. I'm going to check yeah. out the body that was... I'm going to yeah. spin it around and be so like... <laughs> If I, so basically, both um, Holly and Buchanan know that the corporate execs that came in on the shuttle are Dr. Kamitsky, who is some sort of a research scientist who probably, uh, Sig, you would have sort of known was in town, so to speak. Um, so they're here. And then also uh, Miranda Reynolds, who is like uh, Buchanan. This uh, Reynolds would be like, three or four levels above you in the in the org chart, basically. And they came in and you you also get the sense that they sort of take over when they're when these types of people can kind of like commandeer people's space and that kind of thing. But they do have a shuttle that you're now all aware of. And um, as you go in to look at this space, um, you're in Al Simpson's office. Mm. You look about and you can see as you step inside Again, there's an individual sitting in Al's chair with their back facing you. It's this high-backed high, um, chair, so you can't quite tell. They're motionless. You look about. You can see there's a small ventilation grill overhead that appears to have been battered free, reminiscent of what you might have seen uh, or what you did see just moments earlier. The vent itself is twisted and hanging from the duct. You approach Buchanan. Mm -hmm. yep. You see who it is. And as you, as you turn the chair a little bit and look, you can see that it's Miranda Reynolds, one of the corporate higher-ups 
dead. Oh, shit. It appears as though she maybe suffered a gunshot to the face. There's no weapon to be found, but her face is definitely mutilated from some sort of attack. I, you are going to, as you look at this, you're going to take one level of stress. Damn right. <laughs> there, you also think, notice wow. that around her neck is a, on a lanyard, is a key card. Snatch? <laughs> Yeah, well, I was going to maybe snatch it, like, if, if Buchanan is, like, kind of reeling from seeing this, almost, like, with zero apathy and no zero recognition that this is, like, a human person that's dead, Holly walks up and, like, snatches the key card and, like, walks away and, like, doesn't react at all to this person's death. It's like, well, that's not surprising. A, why, don't, why don't you guys give me a posed... Uh mobility checks to see who gets the key card. Oh, okay. Okay. So, so that's five. agility, right? Yeah, it's an agility based skill so you you take your agility dice plus your mobility if you have a if you have any dice in that and then you're also going to roll your uh your stress dice as well. I will go first. Uh, I did not get a success. Okay. Ooh, I think Buchanan. I got one success there. Yeah, Buchanan, yeah. you you reach in quickly yeah. and grab the key card as Holly is kind of reaching in to grab it. You quickly like kind of snap out it for a minute. You grab the key card and you gra and you pull it off of Reynolds' dead body and you look at it and you kind of wipe the blood off of it and you can see that it is destroyed. It is damaged and destroyed, and that, my friend, causes you another point of stress. Ah. Damn it. I look at Holly and go, just like toss it to her, like, you seem quite eager to have this. Uh, I like, I look at it, is there any way to fix it or no? No, this thing is, is completely destroyed. It's not gonna, it's not gonna function at all. What I are the toss rest of you it doing? and Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead and finish your thought, oh, it's Holly. Okay. What are you guys doing? Is there any sign of uh, this? Uh, these light forms have they were? I, I, I can see the vent, and from the way that uh, it ambushed us earlier, can I inference that like it's the same kind of thing? Yeah, you, you get the sense that this is a similar situation to what you just experienced, that it, it was using the vents and the duct work to, to move around the facility. Um, and you do, you do hear some faint like skittering that echoes through the ducts. So you know that there are more than one of these creatures in this particular area. How about Singleton? Singleton, what are you doing while well, this is all happening? Well, um... I think Riz is probably gonna move off to the side after the body gets turned. I'm really interested in um, Holly's actions at this current time. Also, the information that she's spilling about things that she really doesn't have any business knowing, like the corporate shuttle is here. So it's gonna um, ping my internal motion tracker. Uh, mm. And... I think she's really just spending the time taking it in because none of this is supposed to be happening and none of this is gonna, she doesn't want any of this to get out, um, out of here, right? Like none of the information needs to leave here. So I'm just mm. making internal tally marks on who goes first. Okay. And I'm assuming you you take notice of the body and you look over at the dead. Yeah, yeah. so Absolutely. you will take you you will take some stress as a result of that. Uh, Sig, did Just you look? One. Yeah, did you look over at the body, Sig? Out of curiosity, maybe it's hard yeah, not morbid, to look. Yeah, morbid curiosity. Yeah. <laughs> what about Hirsch? Uh, so I'm actually in the hallway and I'm pacing, but just like a few paces either way, and I'm um, muttering to myself, but. Internally, I'm trying to think of where the closest uh, cleaning closet is, actually, because, you know, a lot of the chemicals that I use are very volatile in their own right. 
and trying to figure out um, where the closest one of those is. Are there weapons stored in this station at all? You know there's an armory, and the okay. armory is in the uh, block B. Okay. Yep. Which is not block C, which is where I am. And You're so, in C currently, um, yep. Yeah, that... That's a future thing, but right now, um, you know, some some good old cleaning spray, some Febreze or something, and a lighter. Uh, some. <laughs> uh, where's the closest cleaning closet? Um, yeah, so the closest cleaning closet, which they, for some reason they don't have the utility closets on the map, but we'll say that each one of this of the blocks has a like a like a, a supply room that would okay. have cleaning supplies. So it's it's within the block. You could you could access it within the block, and you could get you know like your four hundred nine, not a sponsor, and you could get your Windex, also not a sponsor. And you could right. you know you could you could find cleaning supplies and and a, an extra mop. You know if you're really feeling like you need it, that kind of not thing. A sponsor. Not, not a sponsor. <laughs> mops are not a sponsor in us, but we know the mops are watching. So thank you, mops, for hanging out. Yeah. Right. Um, so yeah, there's one very close to where you are, and if you wanted to sort okay. of like go in there and and try to find some some things, you could certainly do that. Yeah, um, I'm just going to mosey off and go do that. Split the party. I mean, that's the smartest thing to do in this sort of a Can scenario. I, <laughs> uh, after like, tossing this like key card, can I just take off after Hirsch? Yeah, sure. Yeah, if you, like, if you notice this. Hirsch kind of in the hallway and then sort of disappears, you can be like, where's Hirsch? And kind of poke your head out and go follow him. I will say this before uh, before you do that. Um, and we're going to take a break in just a couple of second, a couple of minutes here. But Buchanan, you uh, you look down uh, as you see Holly toss the key card. You know, I'm sure Holly mentions that this thing is, is destroyed, tosses the key card. You look down at the desk and there's scattered documents strewn about. And you sort of like, I don't know, move some of them around out of curiosity, perhaps. And you see one that that's has big, bold letters on the top containment protocol. And you see that. There is a Wayland Utani operation manual. You open it up, containment protocol outlines as you just scan through it a highly advanced containment protocol specifically designed to handle biohazard level omega situations. The protocol is marked confidential, and you're just like, you know, you're paging through it, you lick your thumb, you're paging through it. Details, procedures for hostile and rapidly evolving organisms. And there's actually some some descriptions of some of the organisms, and it is a very close, very close description of what you have just seen try to attack your friends, which is troubling from a couple of perspectives. The first one is that they knew, they knew enough to have a protocol. You know, there's like a huge thick protocol that they printed out. Somebody like you has been working on for God knows how long, right? Um, mm -hmm. The other thing that you notice that's troubling is reference to the expendability of colony personnel. As you brush some of the papers around and you set it down, this this manual down, you also notice that there is a handheld comm unit, like a like a radio unit. It's splattered with Reynolds blood, and there's a light on the unit that's blinking. And that is where we're gonna take our break. Um, you guys, so far so good. All right, you guys are doing great. Um, if, big shout out to this crew of LV246. Uh, I'm very, very excited to see what happens in the second. We're going to take a quick five-minute break. Thank you very much uh, to those of you who rated in. Uh, Lord Gazumba and friends, let's give a quick shout out to Lord Gazumba. If you're not following Jay and, and his, his shenanigans, please do. Um, we really appreciate you all for, like I said, being here. And we're going to take a quick break, and we will be back in just a few short minutes. Uh, hang out. Stick with us. We'll see you in just a couple. Bye.
And we're back, everybody. <laughs> How are you? Thank you so much. Uh, we've got hot mics and hot PCs, and I'm going to be honest, hot players. I mean, I want to just say thank you so much, you guys. You are you've been so much fun. This game is is amazing, but you are the ones that are making it uh, really fun to play. So thank you for that. Thank you to everybody who's been hanging out with us in the chat. We really appreciate you. Uh, quick recap: uh, This is the crew of LV246, a mining colony, uh, and there has been some uh, a discovery of some uh, extra, you know, extraterrestrial life, some xenomorphs, and we're just sort of getting to the bottom of why everybody's missing in this place and coming up with a plan to get our asses off this rock. And so hopefully uh, that's gonna happen here. The tension has been mounting and uh, we've got a lot of stress amongst the crew. Uh, some are doing better than others, I should add, but um, we'll see how that all plays out, my friends, as we jump back into this. So. Um, we have found ourselves in the corporate offices. We are actually in the office of the supervisor of this place, Al Simpson. Um, and we just got through with a little scene where Buchanan was paging through some sort of a, of a document, a, a manual, a response manual, so to speak. So, Shiv, please, if you would. Okay, so as he's flicked through this manual he just flicked it and he just throws it across the room he goes those bastards those dirty bastards we're all expendable i can't believe this can't believe this not me i thought i was on the inside god damn it and he's like just starts throwing stuff around the table in anger singleton the manual falls on the floor kind of at your feet and it's open to a page and you can see that uh in bold letters it reads uh, something to the effect of biohazard containment level omega you know what this is. Yeah, absolutely. So I'll, I'll reach down and pick up the manual. And um, I believe Holly and Hirsch have already exited the room. They're out in the hallway, yep. Right. Yeah, okay. So I'll pick up the manual and I'll set it on the desk and I'll put my hand on Buchanan's shoulder. And I'm going to act kind of like a whisper because Sig is still with us. And I'll tell them, like, there's more going on here then you know and i'll i'll untie the sleeve of of my uh, jumpsuit that's tied around my waist and i'll flick open the inside of my um my my jumpsuit and on the inside will be like a, a corporate sleeper agent um patch something that indicates that um riz is 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 a corporate employee not just here higher level than and established and i i will let buchanan know that uh there is more things at play than you realize um and i'll even let him know that holly is an android what the fuck keep and it I'll to go yourself for the, into i'll go for the radio still like keep more looking at Riz shocked go for the reach behind me and go for the radio yeah you grab the handheld comms unit and it's got this red blinking light on it it's covered in blood but it's it still looks operational you have it in your hand what are you going to do with it just try and if I can use it to like speak to go hello anyone respond so you you press the, the transmit button you you yep. say hello hello anyone there and you let yep. go of the transmit and listen <laughs> You hear some some static, and then you hear a voice, a, a female voice. Yeah, oh, oh, thank God, thank God. Uh, 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 this is um, this this is Doctor Comiskey. Uh, I, I'm in, I'm in E Block. Um, I need I need help. Please, please, who is this? Uh, hello, is Reynolds. This is, no, this is Buchanan. Who the, who the fuck is Buchanan? Uh, it doesn't matter. Uh, look, this bitch. <laughs> look, uh, I'm in the E Block. Uh, please. Help me! And then... I look at Riz and be like, we gotta go. Let's get the others. We gotta go. Meanwhile, in the hallway, Hirsch and, uh, and, uh, uh, sorry, Holly have, have sort of, like, come together as, as Hirsch is, like, rifling through a supply cabinet. Yeah, like, you see the, as you come up behind me, you see, like, the mop bucket go like flying out of the room and then like some other stuff is tossed out as i'm like digging through things just like dodging all the things you're throwing in. 
you can hear me muttering and you realize it's like uh, uh i'm just kind of like jerkily muttering prayers almost like not i'm not really even paying attention to what i'm saying yeah i um i walk up to her i say hey hey yeah. buddy here sorry uh. sorry I, I know you're not doing great uh i'm not doing great this whole place isn't doing great i know um i gotta I gotta come clean about something. And I know you're usually the one doing cleaning, but this time I gotta clean. I know what's going on. And I didn't tell you because I didn't, I don't wanna freak you out, man. Like I, it's really scary what's going on. And it seems like you're already freaking out. So it's like, I might as well tell you, you know? It, it, Here, hold this. It's not gonna get much worse. Yeah, I'll hold this. And like you're, you keep like putting things in my arms and different things, and I'm surprisingly like holding more than you thought I could hold. Um, and I say, I there's there's an alien ship, and that scientist in there that's dead, she came here for it, and they've been telling me I gotta cover this shit up, but I I feel terrible. I feel like I'm responsible for not warning people that this shit could happen and now people are dying and now people are these aliens are running around everywhere and it's like i just want to i just want to get you guys out of here and i it doesn't matter what happens to me it matters what happens to you uh, you need to survive this and i know you're probably like i know this doesn't make sense i'm so sorry but the truth is that I, I'm not human. You guys all, the rest of you have all walked out into the hall and you overhear that last part. I'm a Wayland Utani android and I know all of this stuff because of that, because it's in my programming and stuff. But the fact is I, you're my buddy. I, I care about you and I want to save you. And I'm sorry I didn't tell you before, but I just, I just feel like we got to get the fuck out of here, man. Stop right there. So like and I all, turn around. Throughout all of that, I've been like, can um. you like do things that I'm muttering myself <laughs> and like, like kind of responding to you and like, you know, grunts and, and like, yeah, 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 or whatever. Like I'm hearing you, but not really listening. But like, as you say that end part, like, I, I kind of like, take the last not formula 409 but something else and i like turn and look at you and the kind of like friendly look that is usually on my face just kind of falls it becomes very like distant go ahead buchanan i've just got my gun drawn on holly and I'm just holding all these cleaning supplies, <laughs> being very helpful. <laughs> what do hey, you mean whoa, you're not whoa. human? I mean, I'm I'm a Wayland Utani android. I I look human, but I'm I'm not human. I no she's, no she's we've a fucking gone robot. She's no, a fucking we've robot. She's together. working for the company. <laughs> no, you're working for the company too. We all work for the same company, man. As you say that, you hear skittering in the vents above you, and then another one. Um, is there a vent nearby? There's duct work right here above you. You don't see a vent in the near vicinity, but you know there's okay. one in the office spaces. Um, I'm gonna grab like a, a bottle of something flammable and stuff a rag in it and be muttering to myself and then go heading towards the closest vent that I know of. I'll get you, fuckers. Aw, <laughs> I'm so proud of him for immediately turning on the aliens and not me. Um, how, what parts of this can I put down or can I just put down all of it? Like how much? I mean, you do what you want to. He's completely <laughs> elsewhere in his brain right now. <laughs> uh, 
I mean, is there anything in my hand that I could use as a weapon if that thing comes? Not really. No. Like I just draw, I put down all the chemicals and stand up very rigidly. Um, and you guys all notice that I'm not stressed at all. <laughs> Does not apply. <laughs> Does not apply. So Buchanan, you've got this. Stress. You've got this um, pistol leveled. What are you gonna do? I'm just like looking at like so many secrets. I this what the fuck's going on? Look, you. I mean, like you don't have secrets too. Like I was ordered not to tell anybody, and I wasn't. I didn't mean to. I'm tell middle them. management. I don't have fucking secrets. I just make sure things run. I don't know. You hear Omega level again? Oh, a God. third. Let's. Can we fight I'll, this thing first and then deal with this? I'll reach over and like gently put my hand on Buchanan's pistol, like on the barrel, like lowering it down to kind of get him to pull it off of Holly. I'm just going to look at her and tell her you are in direct violation of company policy. And we're going to talk about this after we don't die. And I'm going to trigger my motion detector hearing the skittering to find out how close it is. Um, I rolled four stress dice and i did not have a one or a six in there so it was like all middle numbers okay so you it does it does work and there are multiple pings oh my Let's god see if i can do this oh no 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 Let's no make no. sure this is showing up <laughs> we gotta got run <laughs> yeah there are multiple pings we gotta run fuck this company <laughs> they're all yeah, coming from in here I'm Fuck going to work for PepsiCo me. when I get home instead. <laughs> Not a sponsor. Not a, Not a sponsor. <laughs> Not a sponsor. <laughs> so what are you guys going to do? You guys, uh, right now, I mean, That's you're all fun. smart enough to know that you are overpowered here with yeah. what's happening in this particular space. You have been having this conversation, and these things are somehow homing in on you. What are you going to do? Let's go. Different. Book it. We'll yeah. deal with this later. We'll deal with this Let's later. Let's go to B-Block, yeah. right? Because there's a... Just to <laughs> And All right, so you start I've, running. Go ahead. I've like Hirsch. lit that that essentially Molotov cocktail, and I like pop a, a thing you open and uh, throw it in there. And then when I see everyone running off, I will follow. All right, I like it. And because of this this sort of force that you're now witnessing as that beacon pings and then turns off, you're gonna all gain an extra level of stress here. Yay. Except for me. Except for, <laughs> yeah, except for the android. So all that stress you guys thought I was taking earlier was a lie. <laughs> it's a lie. <laughs> it's a lie. I will, as we're running, shout to Holly and both Riz and be like, you both got some explaining to do. I literally just explained everything as I'm running. How much do you know? <laughs> all right, I just so told you, you. You guys are running, shouting at each other, and you get into block B. Now, B, you guys know, is like the command crew quarters. This is an area where you have like the ready room operations. Um, there, There is a armory here, uh, but you do need a, uh, a key card to access it. It's generally buzzing with risk analyses and all strategic planning type stuff, but right now it's dead quiet. Now, and when it's you say pretty key card uns- access, per- does yeah. the janitor have that kind of access to everything in the building, or is the armory like a completely separate thing? It is secured inside the ready room, so you could uh, you could attempt to a um, access it with a, a comms check, perhaps. Okay. Um, you could let's see do, 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 do. if you have if you have that skill, you could make a comms check roll to try to get into the armory. Um, that is entirely up to you. You you do get the sense that it would be a, a difficult task. This is pretty high high security in here. This isn't your standard Am I to hack security it? system. Um, you, you could try to make the com check roll or help someone else do the com check roll, but it is going to be a difficult. It's going to be a difficult roll. I guess we could try. I could try to help you do it. I think that's the place. The first place I would go. And I'm just like pushing buttons because I don't have the card to get in there, and obviously nothing's working because you're I pushing the buttons and it just goes. Eh. Shit! Push the button. Eh. You're just. I trying can do to a like... comtech, yeah. So give me it's, it's plus comtech, right? 
Sig, can you come it take is, care of this? But you're going to subtract three base dice from the roll because this is a difficult roll. So okay, so then whatever. my roll would be four. Okay, and so then don't forget. I'm like oh, standing in front stress. of it, not allowing Holly towards <laughs> it. Dude, I, first, this is what at I do. First, at first, Sig, can you come take care of this? And I'm just glaring at Holly. <laughs> <laughs> I can give it a go. Maybe I can figure it out. Holly, do you want to help me? Maybe. Yeah. Um. So with the minus three on the dice, my roll would be four. What would yours be? Uh. So I have. I mine would also be four, but then I also have my stress. Uh. So my stress might help me break this open. Yep. So yeah, whatever your base com is, you're gonna subtract three from that, and then roll that that but you're gonna get help you're getting help maybe from uh yeah. your friends so add one more I'll back and then make sure you roll all of your stress dice which is five currently which also i wouldn't roll any stress dice though so you, don't you don't roll don't anything this is all yeah this is there we go oh uh, i got ooh. two yellow sixes Ooh. that's good those are successes you got no oh. aliens on the die that's that's very good <laughs> So you you made a comms check success. So and you also get to do a stunt. Um, so you can nice. gain a plus one mod to a later skill roll when you do a um, access a door that's locked. You can take that as your stunt. Um, let's see. You could if you do the exact same thing. You don't need to roll at all. You just get it. Um, or the task takes half the time if you want to do it faster. Um, those would be all relevant stunts. I probably want to take like take half the time. I want to do this okay. as fast as possible. All right. So yeah, you you get the the door open and like everybody's super excited as that happens. However, something else happens. You hear as you all are like relieved that the armory door is opening. You turn around and look behind you and you see that there is a massive scout xenomorph standing right behind you. My friends, it didn't get a, I roll, I don't know if you noticed that I rolled some dice as it snuck up on you. I did not succeed, so it will not get a sneak attack. You guys are going to be in combat. So there's going to be some opportunity to, to go into the armory and, and investigate, but it's going to be in the heat of combat. So I'm going to shuffle these cards up here. Oh my gosh, I'm so nervous. I'm nervous for you guys. I'm, All right, so. I'm getting a gun. <laughs> yeah, Hirsch, here we go. Hirsch is a number eight. Ooh. If you could keep track of that, that would be good. Hirsch is an eight. I was so busy poking Holly being like, how do you look like such a real person? I know, Sig, uh, we'll talk later. Sig is a nine. Holly is a seven. Singleton's a one. You'll go first, Singleton. Buchanan's a four. Ooh. And this creature, which is a uh, a pretty massive uh, xenomorph, is... Oh, there we go. This thing is nasty. It gets three of these cards. So it gets to go three uh, times. So it's going to have a six, oh no. a ten... Okay. And a two. Six, ten, and a two. So, Singleton, the door slides open as this happens. You, my friend, have the initiative. What would you like to do? So you said the door to the armory is open, and there's a big, ugly bug in our faces. Yeah? Yep. So... Without taking up too much time, I would like to find something bigger than my service pistol and uh, get that, grab that. All right, so you you kind of push through the group and go into the armory, is that what you're doing? Yeah. And you, you look around and it looks like almost everything has been taken from the armory oh, no. for the response. <laughs> However, you do see that there is a uh, pump action shotgun and there's okay. a 357 Magnum revolver. Okay. Everything else is gone. Ah. I will pick up the shotgun, I suppose, because that should be in my 
in my skills stuff there. Okay. And um, I think that's all I'm, I'm able to do on this turn is to grab another weapon, if I'm not mistaken. Okay. Yep. You grab the weapon. Meanwhile, uh, this, this creature is number two. So it is going to come on out and it stalks up to you super fast. This thing is so fast. Um, let me see if I can increase this thing a little bit for people to see. Jeez. Yeah, this thing is nasty. There we go. This thing is absolutely nasty. So this thing races up and is going to attack. Um, oh, geez. Let's see. Who's it going to attack? Well, there's four of you outside still. I'll roll a four. E4 here. Two, three, one, two, three. It's going to attack Holly. Holly, this thing is coming at you. I'm going to roll some some attack. Uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. Here we go. Bear with me here, waiting for it Man, to roll. Man, I'm stressed. <laughs> Jesus. Holly physically cannot be. Sure. Remember to breathe. I'm stressed, Holly. Right. Right. It gets I'm eight, not an android. I have dice. to breathe. Oh, oh God. Jesus. I don't see any successes there. Uh, it does not succeed. It, it jumps um, at you and misses. Um, luckily, that brings us to Buchanan. Um, I'm, I'm going to fire my pistol at this thing. Roll a ranged attack for me. Okay. Da, da, da. So let me have a look. Ranged attack. What do I do? Oh, ranged combat. Is that right? Yes, ranged combat. Agility two. And how much? I've got seven. Oh no! <laughs> oh. Two, two failures, two successes. Okay, On so you're gonna take two. Dice. Yep. Oh no! Two, yeah, two, yeah, that's right. Two stress points. Let me get that on here. You're up to nine stress. Uh, you do have two successes, so your uh, sidearm does. I want to say it does uh, um, damage of three. Damage of three total with the with the extra yep. damage. Okay, so it does three damage. Yeah, you blast this thing with the revolver. <laughs> And this acid spray splashes across behind it on the wall and just sizzles in uh, as you as you do. It's still it's still quite mobile, um, but that is a, that's a good move. So that's your uh, that was your your uh, slow action, right? Yep. So what, uh, uh, yeah, what would you yeah. like to do as your fast action? Uh oh God, what fast action? Um, doo -doo 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 -doo. I will attempt to seek cover. <laughs> okay. Yeah, there's yeah. there's desks and tables that you could you could dive behind, uh, like yep. computer terminals and and the like for sure. So right. I've only got four rounds. Have I expended all those four rounds? Um, you had two. You had yeah, you did. Yeah, I You're, just unloaded and not, I'm hiding behind a desk, dry heaving. Yep, yep, <laughs> totally. That, you could of, run of ammo. into the armory. Yeah. I could. He didn't and though. And then your next he turn. He dove. Yeah. He dove behind the the computer terminal. He's like, I fired um, behind the desk, and I'm like. <laughs> it is going to make another attack because it goes at six. So let me. Uh, oh, I think I had. Uh, four, you're at didn't seven. I? Oh, you're seven. At seven. Gotcha. Okay. Yeah. Um, it is Come going to attack this time gonna actually it's gonna buchanan as you run past it it it, it sees Wouldn't prey it keep running. attacking me not no this thing is it sees your friend run and it is going to try to attack him and i was it the last one that me. shot at oh. it so it definitely hits you <laughs> oh no That's oh my good. god nikes yep does he get any benefit from cover or anything no i think it would have got me before i got covered yeah surely. it's as it's <laughs> as he's running um yeah, it is I've it attacks it you Actually, what happens is you start to dart, and it, this spiked tail comes up from behind it, and it comes at you, uh, hitting you for um, one damage. Okay. 
and the venom starts to fill your body immediately. You mu you need to make a stamina roll for me. So it's just your uh, stamina. Where's my stamina on my sheet? Oh, just I've got zero in stamina, but three in strength. So it's just three. Is that right? Yep. Yep. Exactly. And then my stress dice. That's right. Which is now up to nine. Here we go. Ooh. Oh, oh boy. Successes, I think. Six, five successes. Five successes. Okay. So yeah. as this, this venom courses through your veins, you realize that your time is limited from a mechanics perspective. You have five rounds before you go unconscious <laughs> and go and you become paralyzed. Um, and then maybe one of your friends can try to do something to, to change that. I don't know, but you've got five rounds, so keep track of that. Um, okay. You take that one one damage. So Holly, now it's your turn. What do you want to do? I would like to use my slow action to throw the med kit to Sig. And I would like to use my fast action to run at this thing and do a grapple attack so that it only attacks me. Oh, okay. Yeah. I love that. Give me a uh give me a close combat roll. Okay. And add, oh, you don't have any stress to add. I keep forgetting that. Androids. Aha. No stress. No stress. Um okay. So close combat is just my strength. Uh and with a plus 0. So it's just 2. As you run towards it, you do hear me say, "Holler, no." <laughs> and I yell, you guys got to get out of here. I'll keep it occupied. And my intention... Ooh, that's a success. Nice. One success. So yeah, my intention is to like... I mean, it's a grapple attack, but obviously this thing's huge. I can't really grapple it. What I'm trying to do is like be so up in its space so that it's attacking me and not other people. That's kind I, of my intention. I love it. I love it. Yeah, you you do that. You jump towards it and like get in its way and kind of like get its attention for the most part. And we'll I say. say, save yourself as I throw the med kit to Sig behind me. All right. Uh, that brings us to Hirsch. Um, all right. So Hirsch like reactively yelled for Holly to not do that because, you know, in his mind, he still thinks Holly's a friend, even though what the heck. <laughs> <laughs> but then um, he realizes that he is highly unable to do anything and so is going to run into the armory and be right. like, I'm getting a big oh, crap and realize there's almost nothing left. And so just grab that revolver. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yep, you grab the revolver uh, with no problem. So that's sort of like your your fast action. Yeah. You grab it. You, uh, you still have a slow action because the movement doesn't really cut you right there. So it didn't cost you much. Is it loaded? Um, do you like spin? You, yeah, you spin the chamber, you know, and you're like, yeah, this thing's loaded. Okay. Yeah, um, it's got four can I shots. grab extra ammo as well as my slow? There's no, there's no oh, ammo. Like the place, is, it looks like it was cleared out quickly. Like you're surprised okay. if there's anything in here. Okay. Um, is there anything to like duck behind? Not, yeah, there, there might be like a table, like where people would like reload, wep, you know, stuff. There's, there's sure, like a, sort yeah. of a basic work, workshop table in the middle of the armory. Sure. I thought there were two guns. Sorry. I thought you yep. said when there were. Sh there so one of, couldn't uh, you grab Sig the grabbed second one? one. Sig already yes. grabbed yeah. one. And now Hirsch is grabbing the pistol. So there is one table in the middle of the room. Okay. I'll duck down behind that and like take aim for next turn. All right, that sounds good. That brings us to Sig. Sig, you you just caught the med kit. Yeah, uh, Holly just told me to save myself, but I don't know if she was telling me directly, just me. No, yourselves. Or like... <laughs> oh. Save yourselves. So I'm out. take a second. <laughs> she rolls her eyes as she's getting attacked. Like seriously. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna run and and slide and. Uh, even though me and Buchanan have never gotten along and probably never will, um, I'm going to try and uh, use a med kit to stop uh, stop the poison from continuing Ooh. through his body um, or something. I, I see he got a nasty wound from that that tail, so I'm at least trying to patch that up. Yeah, you can you can medical res medically respond to your companion. They just got pierced with this tail that's sort of like 
waving in the air above this creature. Um, give me a, give me a medical. Let's see. Medical aid. Medical aid roll, and it's going to be plus two base dice because you've got the med kit. Oh, sick. Okay. Yep, and then make sure you include as well your stress dice. So that brings up my base dice to eight. Uh, and then plus five. So let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Toss it to the right person. <laughs> Hell yeah. Hopefully I don't panic. Uh -oh. I got a oh. one. I got two sixes on the black dice, I believe. But two, yeah, ones two on the yellow, yellow ones. ones. Yeah. Yep. So you do take two uh, uh, levels of stress sig. Um, so you're up to seven. Seven. And I do need okay. you to make a panic check. So get, get, go ahead and give me a D6 and then add seven to it. The panic, uh, the increasing panic really affects, or stress really affects the outcome of these panic checks. Does it matter which die I roll for that? Um, nope, just, yeah, it doesn't make any difference. Just, We're, uh, we'll just add the, uh, add it to your your panic level. Do the fun one. Or your stress level. Ooh. Uh, so four plus seven, 11. All right, so you, you, you kind of like kneel down to respond to to your companion who's like got this wound and looks rough and because you rolled multiple successes i'll say that you get a chance to administer the aid um but you you freak out as you as you look at the wound and like these sort of like black tendrils sort of stretching across around the wound it freaks you out and you drop the medical kit now it's not useful because you just used it uh you drop the medical kit and your panic roll result is seek cover you must use your next action to move away from danger and Absolutely. find cover. Um, da -da 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 -da. I don't want what happened to Buchanan to happen to me. I understand. <laughs> yeah. I get out of here. Um, you are allowed to make a retreat roll if you have an enemy at engaged range, which you, you do. So you'll be able to make a retreat roll on that. Um, your stress level is decreased by one, which is nice. So we'll drop your stress level down. However... You're back down to six. However, the uh, stress level of all your friendly PCs within short range increases by one. So I would say that is Buchanan and Holoroid because Hirsch and Singleton are inside the armory, and the rest of you are kind of like out in the in the um, in the hallway still. So um, and Holoroid doesn't take stress. So Buchanan's stress level goes up. I'm patching oh. you up and screaming in your face like. Ah! Like, so what's I'm at wrong 10. here? <laughs> yeah, now. you're at 10. Did you successfully Are, heal him? Or yeah, so, did that... well, you, oh, you don't okay. really know, but for the mechanics of it, you had two successes. So, yeah, you, you feel like you've you've successfully uh, addressed the, the injury itself, and then you dove for cover, basically, is what you're going to do on your next turn. Nice. Um, so that was Sig's turn. That brings us to the, uh, the creature itself. I'm going to go ahead and roll a d4 again. So it's between... Buchanan. Oh wait, well, didn't Sig... my action to get it to attack me that doesn't work? Well, I'm gonna make a roll to find out if it does or not. Okay. I'm gonna give Out you. Out of curiosity, a... does seeing this thing add stress? Uh, yeah, I think that's that's uh that's okay. a safe safe assumption. I'll, that's I'll like asking and... if we did the homework at your here. request. Yeah, we, do we have homework? Right. <laughs> oh hush. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just trying to find find out how many dice I get to roll. This thing is as many as possible. quite a bit uh, bigger and nastier. Uh, geez, uh, Shiv, you're up to eleven now. Yeah. Yep. For some reason, uh, Holroyd's just at zero still. Um, but yes, Holroyd, this thing <laughs> is going to attack you. Okay, good. I was like, I specifically spent my whole action. <laughs> Please. All right. It is uh, going to try to grab you. So I get 10 base dice on this. It's kind of cool. Like each of these creatures has like a little table that you roll on to see what it does. So it's kind of like oh, AI wow. generated attacks. Nice. So it is going to cool. try to grab you. Okay. Should be pretty mm. easy <laughs> since I'm grabbing it. <laughs> yep. Um, it does succeed. Ooh, twice. Everybody, in, so let's see, this is going to be, actually, this is going to be everybody because you're all in the same zone. You all need to make panic rolls. 
Uh, so go ahead and and do that, and then I will uh, I'll ask you what your results were. We'll go around the table. You're all making a panic roll. Um, you guys watch as Holly is grabbed and lifted up into the air off of their feet. Let me bring up my panic charts. All right, so Hirsch, what did you get on your roll? That is an eleven. Eleven. You also have seek cover. Um, everybody's stress level goes up by one. Yours goes down by one. Oh. So you're back down to seven. Um, I actually have eight on mine. Sig you do? Okay. I yeah. might have missed one. So you're at eight. Um, Sig, <laughs> you are at eight, it looks like. Uh, Huli's not, or um, Singleton's at seven. Is that correct? And Buchanan's up to 12. Things are just not yep. going according to corporate um, standards okay. around here, and it's really starting no, to, to bug you out. Bother me. Really, yeah. really gets um, me. Sunny, what was the result of your role? Uh, so uh, I think I'm at seven now after the plus one from Hirsch. Okay. Uh, I've been tracking as well, but I'll yep, take it. That's good. Um, do seven. I, there's seven. a good chance I missed something, so if that's fine. So I rolled a six. So before uh, Hirsch went for cover, I got a 12. But afterwards, I would get a 13. Okay. Which means that I am fleeing. I just I just run. <laughs> <laughs> I'm yeah. out of here. You're out of here. You just take off. Yeah, that's uh, what I want you guys to you do. Can so, choose, yeah. You can choose whatever direction you want to flee in. Um, let's see. Singleton, what was the result of your panic check? All right, so if I'm at seven, I rolled a five, that puts me at a 12, which means I'm screaming my face off. Yep. Because you... I wanted to shoot the android, not let an alien kill it. But here's the good news, Julia, is your stress level goes down by one. So now you're back down to six. Um, and you you do lose your next slow action. So you can make fast actions yeah. on your next turn. Every uh, friendly creature character, excuse me, who hears your scream has to make an immediate panic roll. So we're going to do another panic roll. But first, Buchanan, what was your original panic roll? Um, this is escalating quickly. So what did I have? That was a 13 before, and now it's a 14. Um, Berserk, you immediately attack the nearest person or creature, friendly or not. You won't stop until that target is broken. Every friendly creature who witnesses your rampage must make an immediate panic check. <laughs> Thank God so Sig peed before this. Otherwise, you'd so be attacked. So, yeah. so is... I pop up then and just like, ah. And who's right like next it? to you? Um, Who was near It's who... Sig. I think so Sig I just... was responding. Well, they, they fleed. Didn't they flee? Have I gotten a chance to flee? Um, I think that's on your next turn. I think so. So yeah. I'm getting. <laughs> yeah. But like basically, you stand up and we have become our own worst enemies. enemies. I know. <laughs> So I just start stabbing with my knife then. Okay, let's make a let's make a close combat roll. Jesus. Close and combat. you have tw you have twelve. So, according to my calculation, you have twelve stress dice. I do. Let's get them on the cards, and I have just normal three, basic, because I don't have any close combat. Man, these know, panic rolls are ridiculous. This is insane. Yeah. Oh, oh my god. Oh, there's a lot. Of, there's. Yeah, that's a lot. One, two, three. That's a lot of successes there, I feel. A lot of successes. One, two, three, four, five, I see. Yep, I think and, so. But you also get two uh, panic three, or stress four, dice. Five, six, seven successes, actually. Seven successes. Yeah. Um, Pretty sure. I'm... Oh, I my think God. You, I think you just broke. You just broke uh, Sig. You just stab, stab, stab Sig. You uh, you try to flee. Prison shank. <laughs> And you go down. I mean, they're broken. So that kind of ends your berserker thing, right? Oh my Every, god! Everybody else, I guess, uh, has to make a panic check again. So let's start with let's start with Hirsch. Jesus, guys. Do I have to make another panic check? Um, I don't think you do. It's everybody okay. else who it. sees you. Yeah, okay, exactly. That's fine. Yeah, that is a that's twelve. Cool. You start screaming. Your stress level is decreased by one, but everybody has to make a panic check again. This is getting ridiculous. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. I'm just chilling. We're I'm stuck just stuck in a panic loop. Grappled. We're right? stuck in the panic loop. Um, wow. All right. So, Sonny, you're not dead, so you get to make a panic check. I mean, that's the benefit of still oh, being alive. 
<laughs> Sorry. Uh, let's see. That's so insane that they just healed I you failed. and you treat them <laughs> just by immediately stabbing oh them. God. I only have two health, so I'm technically at like a negative five. Like he really like he went to work. Yeah. Yeah. Shit. I'm like not well. So Jumped you rolled a one. The closest thing to me. Yeah, a I one did. plus your stress with just seven, so it's eight. You're just you're just trembling uncontrollably as you've been stabbed. You also, because you're broken, you take a critical injury, Sick. um, which is ridiculous as well. Uh, Let's see, I'll critical take... injury. Dehydrated. I'm bleeding a lot. Yep. Roll <laughs> roll two d sixes, um, and we'll roll one at a time. So roll one, and that'll be um, because you don't add them together. It's like so. It's sixty. This is not good. 66. 66. That's really oh, bad. That's really bad. That's really <laughs> bad. That's as so, bad as it can be. The is that knife, the highest you can get? Is the it? Knife, yeah, it is. The knife blades that go into you puncture your heart. And your heart beats for the last time. And you fall Thank immediately you know. dead. Sonny Sig. Rest in peace, my friend. It's prison shank to death now my recommendation is is that you have maybe drop another character using that link that i gave you and if you want to jump back in they'll just kind of run in like panicked um sort of survivor mode um oh so my god we're still You're going around this is the can. game i'm just playing the game um These singleton ever. singleton you need to make a panic check based on the bizarre the month yeah no shit the worst supervisor ever Right. <laughs> this is crazy. All right. So um I think I'm up to eight now, I believe, with the screaming of Hirsch next okay. to me. So... All right. <laughs> I like how honest you guys are about that because Yeah, this that's... is gonna be awesome because uh that puts me at a thirteen. I believe okay. with my roll. Okay. Yeah, 13. So I'm just like, all right, bros. I'm I'm out. I'm dipping. <laughs> I'm running Scum. away from that. Yep, you're fleeing for sure. Okay, so as you yeah. flee, um what about your God damn it. We're going to we're going to stop on the panic uh, uh escalation here because this also says that everybody else makes a panic check again. So we're gonna hold off on that so we can actually see what happens here. But your your level of stress does go down by one singleton. So, so now now you're at seven. Um yeah. okay. I th I think we got everybody on that on that round. I think we just did like three or four panic checks in a row, which is absolutely ridiculous. I don't even remember whose turn it is. The yeah, area is just like I've I haven't rolled What is wrong with you people? 20 minutes. I, yeah, yeah, well that's like, that's yeah, fine. Soft, <laughs> softy, yeah, right. Um, I think, um, do, 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 do. does anybody remember whose turn it is? Because I don't freaking remember. I'm pretty I think sure the aliens, Sig, yeah, that was Sig, the alien, yeah. yeah. Sig just went because they lifted me up, so there was their last turn. So I think that's you might right. Be back at the You're absolutely of right. Initiative. Thank you for that. Um, that was in the 10 spot, so yes, we're back at number one. Uh, Singleton, you're taking off. Where are you going? Um. Well, I'm not really upset about. I'm so sorry, Kay. I'm not really <laughs> upset that side because it's one less person I have to eliminate from. Oh my god! Not here. So I think um, wow. my next course of action is I'm gonna try to move towards E Block, somewhere safe in E Block, because that's where the other doctor is. And the key card. And if I can get out and everybody else is stuck here, that means they die and they don't tell anybody what happens and my mission is accomplished. So that's what I'm working on. All right, so you can um, use your slow and fast action to make it to uh, E-Block. Okay. okay. So you'll be able to do that. And um, when we come back around, we'll we'll talk about what's an E-Block that you run into. Sure. I'm sure it's fine. I'm sure it's gonna be great. I'm sure um, it is. That brings us to the top of the order, or the, to number two position, which is the uh, the scout, and it's going to look at Buchanan. Buchanan, I mean, you're there yeah. holding a knife. Your your friend is dead. Um, it is going to attack you this time. Wait, doesn't it have me up in the air though. 
It can make, well, we'll, we'll see what it does because it has okay. multiple options. I'm trying to save you guys. I'm trying so yeah, hard and I haven't taken work. any damage from this thing. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah. Well then, well then. That's what I'm All saying. Right, is it's like... I'm going to roll to see what it does. Okay. Maybe it just doesn't like, maybe it's got, you know, it's, it's dietary preferences aren't, uh, yeah, aren't it can Who tell knows? I don't taste good. Yeah. It's got taste for middle management. <laughs> okay. Um, I'm going to reroll that cause it's already got you. It's not going to get you again. Yeah. How many hands does it have? Oh, yep. This makes sense. It is going to head bite you. Nice. Yep. This is classic. Classic. I've never alien. wanted to be attacked before. <laughs> this is really quite interesting. All right. So it has nine base dice. Okay. Uh, it is going to see if it does any damage to you. Here we go. Ooh. That looks like looks one like only success. One. So you take two damage. And okay. this is weird that they even say that because it also says after that, it says if this attack causes any damage, the victim is killed using number 64 Holy, your skull is crushed. The rest of you watch as blue, uh, as white milk just sprays out as the head is crushed. You promised me no milk. You lied, bitch. <laughs> There's always me. milk. This is alien. <laughs> uh, so you, so you can, get, can you're you just explain? like a rag doll. Okay, so it only does two damage, but it kills me. Yeah. That's very weirdly worded. So if it if you take damage, you are killed via number 64 in the critical chart. In the critical can chart, I... 64 says crushed skull. Hang on. Can I try, just because there's a chance, with my resilient feature, mm. I can roll strength every time I suffer damage, and I remove one point of damage for every success. I have two strength, uh, so if I get two successes, I won't take any damage. Can I try? Hell yeah. Okay. It's very, very unlikely. You and never it's very know. very likely that I die, just, but yeah. I just want to try really let's, quick. Let's if see, I, let's let the dice decide. Then it's, it's a weight off my shoulders. I don't feel as bad. <laughs> yeah, if I get two successes, this thing headbutts me and I don't react. All right. All right, let's see it. You can do this. Oh, that was, it seemed oh. close, but yeah. Uh, nope. Milk so, sprays yeah, everywhere. I, right right before this happens, I, I yell to my comrades. I say, get yourselves out of here. Save yourselves. And then and my whole head explodes and there's wires everywhere. Jeez. And I guess Nasty. milk, even though offline, everyone, <laughs> Dave promised me that we could avoid the milk and he lied to me, so... I don't Coconut remember the juice. milk. I don't remember the milk uh, negotiations. <laughs> it's hey, look, it's, it's whole milk. Convenient it's whole that milk. You don't remember <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Good lord! Um, oh man! All right, so if you want to develop uh, another character, I know we're we are running. We've got about a half an hour left, but um, you know, whatever. We're having fun. Um, this brings us to uh, Buchanan, and I'll just keep okay. your your um, everybody's normal uh, initiative order for this. So Buchanan, you you kind of snap out of this berserker mode. You've got the knife in your hand, and it's bloody. And you look down, and you can see that uh, Sunny is on the ground with multiple stab wounds in the back. And you're like, oh shit, what did I just do? Yeah, what have I done? Oh. And I I obviously do I look up and see what happens to Holly as she just gets Oh crushed? yeah, just you know, you're snapped right out of it as you get sprayed all over with this white uh, substance. We'll call it a white substance. I'm, I'm just like gonna try and book it. I'm just trying to get out of the room now. Use both my actions to run. Okay. Yeah. Which which way are you going? The E block? Yeah, because I know that that's where the okay. woman said she was. All right, so you take Fuck off running. This. Uh, this creature is going to try to attack you at at six. Um, Please do. Yep. Oh boy, this thing is nasty. These scouts are uh -huh. really, really nasty. Uh, so let me get a roll here. <laughs> I'm just gonna cut in two or something. Five. <laughs> um, uh, you already did that one. Let's try a different one. 
No, you already did that one, I said. One. Um, you take one look as you turn to run, you look up at it, and you can see this, this, this sort of carapace, long extended carapace of this creature in front of you doesn't even seem to have eyes, but for some reason you feel like it's staring deep into your soul, Buchanan. You gain a stress point, so sheesh, you're at 15, 15? By, my, by my calculation. I need you yep, to make a panic 15. check. Oh, lordy, lordy. Here we go. My goodness. Uh, that's a, a one on the dice. That's a one a plus 15? Yeah, that's a 16 then. Well, all of the best intentions, my friend, to run away and escape this thing, but you collapse on the floor catatonic, staring blankly into oblivion. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Probably thinking about all the protocols that people have screwed up yeah. over the course of the last 24 hours. I'm gonna get um, so fined. <laughs> yep. That was Buchanan. That or no, that was the creature. So now we're to Hirsch. Hirsch, all of this shit has just gone down in a matter of like seconds. Yeah. What do you want to do? Um, so I feel like at this point I have kind of lost my shit and I am going to stand up and walk calmly towards this thing uh reciting some prayer and just start unloading this gun into it okay let's get a ranged combat roll yeah am i still at negative two for agility stuff uh yes okay that's what i thought just double checking and that's to the roll not to the dice correct that is the number of dice. So you subtract oh, okay. that from your dice pool. Perfect. Yep. So we've got three and seven. Oh, so you succeeded. Uh, so you do damage and then you also get to do a stunt. You also, however, gain stress and need to make a panic check. Okay. Should we do the stunt first? Sure. Yeah, let's let's adjudicate that first. Let's uh good god. Let's do the extra damage. Okay. So, what would the total damage be then for that? I don't actually have a handgun on my sheet. What is oh, the total damage um, for that? Let's see. Let me grab it. I have it here in my armory notes. Um, three, isn't it, it does three damage? two damage. Oh. It's two base okay. damage. So um, then three after the plus one. Yep. Uh, yeah, you you level the three fifty seven and you blast it <laughs> right in the right in the kind of the head piece and it just splits open and and acid just drips down and starts to eat through the uh, the decking of the floor. The thing drops to the ground. Wow. Wasn't expecting that. My panic roll was uh, an eight. Total eight? Yeah. So yeah, you're just, after the shot, you're just trembling and you have um, negative two to agility again. <laughs> so it might get harder and harder to take that shot, I think. Yeah. For for the moment, there is no, there is no creature in front of you. It's laying on the floor, but um, someone else, a survivor, comes running in. Kay, what do we got? Uh, so a, a uh, another officer, a field commander named Ezra Regulus, uh, kind kind of kind of sneaks into the into the room, looking uh, around. Um, oh, okay, you've you've dealt with this with it. Okay, uh, uh, who's all right? He's gonna try and take stock and and slowly move towards the, whoever's alive i guess like i rapidly turn and point the gun at you and it's just like shaking do i know who you are um that is a good question um i think i would be someone who is a little bit more on uh 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 on the security force, perhaps. Okay. Uh, so maybe I would uh, I would be someone who would take care of the armory and other things. So you might have seen me around, but I don't know how much um, we maybe interacted. I probably know Buchanan uh, 
in some regard. Uh, but <laughs> we're, it's, so who, who's who's up? Who's alive? So Ezra, you look around and you see Hirsch, who's who had the gun leveled at you, maybe still does. I'm not sure. You see um, Buchanan, who you recognize, laying on the ground catatonic, just staring into oblivion. The uh, Singleton is has run run down the hall and disappeared, so you don't see Singleton. And what's going on with Holly? Holly is laying on the ground, on the ground, just totally blown to pieces, like head shattered. Okay, another android out. Okay, uh, I'm gonna go over to Buchanan, and I want to try and get some life back into him. Um, bring him back. I think there's some panic rules for that. Um, stunt. Yeah, you're going to make a, uh, we're going to say that you're going to start out, let's see, what is your current stress at? You're going to come back with the same amount of stress as your character same had. Stress, so you're going right. to have seven stress, um, and you're going to make a medical uh, medical check. All right. Um, so I have good empathy, but no medical stuff this time. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. Command me to get up. Well, you just have to give a man. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Man up. I kind of. Ooh, I see successes. Uh, how many? I see just one. Two. I got two on my screen. Oh, yeah. Sick. Yeah. So, so yeah, you administer aid to this middle management, uh, you know, bucko, and you kind of come come to a little bit, Buchanan, and see Ezra standing over to you. While that's happening, um, we have another character that runs in. And who is this, Rachel? I think maybe I could run in where Huli's at, if that's okay. Uh, absolutely. Yep. So, um, Singleton, you you're racing forward to the E block, right? Um, and you're you're trying to figure out where you can get the where you're going to be able to find the cards, um, the the key card. And you run in and you can see that there is a command center. Um, there's a med lab, which consists of an examination room, quarantine booth that's locked from the outside. Um, you see an individual who is who, Rachel? Uh, so you see, uh, you, you'd heard like gunfire um, and you see running around the corner, just covered in blood, this massive man with these huge muscles and he's got a rocket launcher and he's got a huge gun and he uh you would recognize him because he would be on your team he would be on the team with miranda that came in to deal with this kind of thing uh this is bucko buckington <laughs> uh who is <laughs> the biggest uh, assault marine breacher uh and he immediately recognizes you and is like singleton what's up Let's wreck some shit. I just blew up like five aliens. He's got long <clears throat> hair. It's very flowing. All right. As very that flowing, happens. Luscious Fabio locks. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> it's very Fabio with like blobs of like alien blood in it. We'll yeah, say this. For, steel book for sort of and the sake of time, you guys, as this is happening and you have this quick conversation, we've got Hirsch. Ezra and Buchanan, who sort of stumble their way in to where you are all at, and you can as, see now. Go ahead. I was going to say, as as Hirsch, or sorry, as uh, Buchanan is being um, revived, can I walk over and take his gun away? Yeah, hundred percent. Excellent. Nice. You know, you, anyway. <laughs> you realize, yeah, you realize immediately that there's no rounds in it, but you do have the the, the weapon. That's all right. Yeah. And then you guys, like I said, you, you all make your way up so that we're all together again as, you, as you're as you sort of like looking around and you're like, oh, you, you, where'd you guys come from, et cetera. You kind of have that moment. But you look about in this med lab and you can see that it's just totally in shambles. Uh, empty cabinets are, are open, overturned. It looks like there was some sort of mad scramble for medical supplies. And you can also see there's an individual in the quarantine room who uh, is Dr. Comiskey. And they are they she she's leaning up against the viewing window as you approach, and you can see old tear tracks sort of prominent on her pale cheeks, and she looks at you with fear in her eyes. She says, You're here, thank, thank God. Open this door and let me out. We got to get out of here. Can I just shatter the glass like really easily? 
of the door just to, like... uh no you can't but you can try to you can try it's not gonna be really easy but you can certainly try nah. is there like we... a, a key card that we need to open the door um there is like a there is a control module at the door but none of you are science. I don't think anybody, we, we lost our scientists, so we don't know if yep. we, you can, if anybody has a comm, uh, a comm tech skill, you could roll that, or you could try I've without got, it. I've got one in comm tech. Yeah, that's all I have is one. Well, luckily, uh, I have a grenade. Shiv, you have like f a 15 on your, uh, on your stress, so you have a lot of chances to get some successes there. I also have shot. a grenade. You could also can throw I... the grenade. It's a backup. Well, yeah, let's try this first. If not, we'll just blow the door and see what happens. We can ask her why she's in the quarantine. See if she's sick. Is it? Do you ask that question? Yeah. Why are you in the quarantine, Doctor Kaminsky? What? Oh, I, the doors closed uh, automatically when the place went into lockdown. Please show some mercy. Get me out of here. Insight check. <laughs> <laughs> You're coming with us. She looks very sincere, like she's panicking inside this this booth. And you look over, and you can also see that there is oh, a, an examination table with a man laying on it. Oh wow, that's a lot. Done. Is that man solid still? Uh, from where, from the angle that you're at, it looks to be. Yep. So you yeah. got a couple of successes there. Um, Buchanan, uh, you also got, oh, I, it went away. You had a couple Three of stress. two failures. A couple of, uh, two, did you say two? Um, two failures, three successes. Points? Okay, yep. So you do manage to, as as uh, Ezra is asking, like, should we actually open the door? Uh, Buchanan is like opening the door. It opens up. Thank God. Thank God. We need, we need to get to the ship. We need to get the ship right now. Let's go. I want to take the butt of my service pistol and knock her out and take her key card. Okay. Give me a uh, a close combat roll, please. And, and make sure I you turn roll my gun your, on your um, seven stress dice as well. Yeah. I turn my gun on the others to stop them from stopping her if anyone tries. So Say, close combat. Explain. Hold on a sec. Explain that again, Rachel. What are you trying to do? So I, so I'm going to say that Bucko is like an ally with Riz. So when oh, she goes gotcha. to do that, he's turning his gun on the others to stop them from stopping her. Okay. I'm that's, in no condition to stop anyone. <laughs> that's a good roll right there. Yeah. I've got three successes there. Yeah. That's, that's substantial. No failures. That's great. So you, you, you manage to knock her out um, with the butt of your pistol. Boom. You also can make. Uh, two stunts if you want. I don't know. Let's see. Did I, we'll, we'll say that's pulling the item from her, like right away. Okay. Like you just, you grab the key card and pull it off of her, from around her neck. Um, and then you just kind of like slough her off the, to the side. Now you have the key card. How does everybody else respond to this action? I do raise both pistols. What are you doing? What are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> um, I just, I just have my knife. What are you doing? I'm just gonna, um, like push, use my foot, and roll her back into the <laughs> the quarantine lab, and and push the button to shut the door. And I'm only thing I have to say is, if you want to get out of here alive, shut up and let's go. That's it. And I'll ah, say, well. get behind Bucky. I'm convinced. Uh, it's actually Bucko, <laughs> but that's fine. That's fine. Get behind me. I'm a good soldier that follows orders. Uh, and right now, the lady who just brutalized the woman who was trapped, I'm going to follow whatever she wants. I do right. uh, look at the doctor and then follow. Yep. I just stumble on because I'm in a bad way. <laughs> I need to get out of here. All right. So you guys are in block E. You are in the med lab. Um, you have you've acquired the key card. 
you have pushed that woman back into the quarantine lab. As you do that, Singleton, you look down and you can see that there is a dead face hugger on the ground inside the room. And in addition to the man on the table, there's another table with a, a dissection tray that has a, a second face hugger that's being dissected. Um, so you can see all of that as you lock the door. And you do recognize the man on the table as Mike Draper's. He is obviously dead and has suffered a terrible fate that some of your, your friends have suffered. Um, the fact that you recognize him and see him increases your stress level by one as you kind of shake it off and turn back to your friends. Um, Trying to get a high score on stress. Yeah, I mean, so, right now, definitely Buchanan is winning with a 17. Right? <laughs> oh, my God. Can I, can I get to 20 before this is over? <laughs> Possibly, no, likely. After so, recognizing him and, and all of that, I think our what I would suggest to everybody is to um, go. We need to get to wherever the shuttle is. So yep. here yep. to the shuttle yep. ASAP. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to have, because we're, we're getting a little bit light on time, and this is like the, the big scene. This is the big sort of crescendo of, you're trying to get to air traffic control over here is where the ship is, okay? You have the key card. You have a pilot still, right? How are you going to get there? There's a couple of ways you can do this. You can run through the the areas the you know you could go back through b you could go back through c and down you could go down and out into the outside areas and run through what this is kind of like an alley you you might call it right here um there's there's a couple of different ways you could get there i guess i want to know what you want to do alley alley seems the right yeah. way to go I yeah, was at least just we gonna got, say yeah. probably down and out because we're right here and there is like an elevator down to yeah. go out. Mm -hmm. I think I'd rather risk my shit outside for terrible yeah. atmosphere than be holed up inside with Yeah. Yeah. Really None of those things fall down on us from outside. Yeah. So <laughs> Okay. And I think I, like I will I'll let uh I'll let you lead and I will take up the rear to keep people in line and cover our behinds. What was that role? That's for my motion tracker. Okay, so you uh, lose two power modules on it or whatever. The power supply goes down by two. Yep. Um, you do. And when are you, when are you, are you doing that right now before you leave the block? When we go down, like, as we get to the elevator and when we're in and like going down, when the elevator door opens, I think is when she would check again, just to make sure none of these big nasty fuckers are coming at us from the outside. Yeah. And so that when makes we sense. get to the bottom, yeah. Okay. <clears throat> so you guys get to the bottom, you go ahead and uh, make your, your check with that motion detector and you get motion in E block above you okay so there was something else up there that is now in that space you also are getting motion detections from b and you can get just a little bit of detection from c as well c seems to be filled with something there's a lot of activity going on in c wow you guys made the right decision by going down and out um, you get to the the out the exterior of this place. Oh, I know what I was gonna do. I was gonna trigger some new music. You get to the exterior of the place, and the wind is buffeting you as you exit the door. There's lightning crackling across the sky, and it's all you can do but start to run. I want everybody to give me a, a quick mobility roll. And give me an idea of what route your PC is going to take. Um, should I put my stress at like five or six or something like that? Um, yeah, good call because you didn't have it before. We'll go six. Okay. And just to clarify, you're when you're so like I have minus wow. four to my agility. So many dice. Does that yeah. come off my normal dice first? Yeah, that's your base dice. Okay. Yep.
Lots of dice. You love that to see That is it. so many dice. <laughs> I love it. Uh, All right, yeah, I get there. So did anybody gain any stress? One, two. Oh, I got. Oh, I can't even see where mine's gone now. Hang on. Oh, I don't know. I didn't see. <laughs> oh, that's not good. Who is that? That was. That was me. Hirsch. So Hirsch, you're up in the double digits. I didn't actually get to see what I rolled because Ripley fucked up my uh, Ripley. test cup for a second. So uh, I think I got two successes on the yellow dice, but I'm not 100% sure. You can re-roll them, Kay, if you want. That's totally fine. That's good. I'll re-roll I'll re mine because I was... Okay, I, I got two successes and one failure in the stress dice. Okay. I got 13 or 13, three successes and one failure. I already raised my stress. That puts me up in 10 because I chose the option to be reckless and live for the rush of adrenaline. So I pushed my agility skill. Okay. Which I already have high agility anyways, but. All right. So if anybody, or Shiv, what did you get on yours then? Do you re-roll? I'm just going to roll it now. There's 17 dice to roll. <laughs> Holy cow. Uh, I think I got one, two, three, four, five successes, two failures. Okay, so you're you're very motivated and very fast. You also have a nineteen stress. Yes, come so on. So if if you <laughs> failed, if you had any uh any of those little aliens on your yellow dice, I need you to make a panic check to roll okay. a d six and add your current stress. This is gonna get crazy. Oh, okay. Now I got two failures on my yellow. Yep. Yeah. So I got four plus six. I got a ten. All right. Ooh. So, uh, Bucko, you freeze <laughs> as as the others start to run. You freeze. You're fr frozen by fear, stress for one round, losing your next slow Ow. action. Um, your stress Bucko level. scared. Yeah, your stress level goes up, um, which makes a lot of sense. You're at eight, and everybody else's goes up as a result. So um, it looks like Ezra is at eight. Singleton's now at 11. Oh, it's 20. Uh, Hirsch is at, you You made it, Shiv. This was your, this was your goal. Uh, Hirsch is at 11. 20. And um, our middle management is panicking. I mean, that's kind of like how middle management yeah, really would yeah. respond. Let's be honest. That really fits the narrative. You're all running except for, um, except for, was it Ezra? No, it wasn't. It was Bucko. All right. So I'm confused though because I got two successes still, but I still freeze. Yeah, so you freeze. So they kind of like they kind of like uh, cancel each other. Cancel out. it cancels the okay. the successes out because you're frozen. Um, gotcha. Anybody else roll on a panic got, table? Go on. I got an eleven on my panic. Uh, so you you seek cover. Okay. You seek cover. Yeah. Um, I got a third. Go on for mine so i'm fleeing while yeah we're you're fleeing. fleeing you're fleeing um i got a 25 luckily this uh, a 25 yeah you're, you're catatonic <laughs> again you just dropped <laughs> the ground catatonic. oh my god so uh, i got a 12 so i screamed uh but... shock buchanan is still alive <laughs> this is just my a goodness. miracle i know it really it is. is barely though so um I w so the way this works, Kay, is that uh, Ezra's stress goes down by one, but as you scream, everybody else's stress goes up by one. Uh, um, geez, this is great. Blackjack. Oh, yep. that's it. Twenty-one. And now we can now we can give stress to Rachel's character, which is just makes me feel so good. Um, <laughs> you're in you're in the game. So you guys all start running, with the exception of uh, Bucko who yeah. is frozen. Uh, Buchanan, who has dropped to the Bro ground catatonic, yep. and Hirsch, who is seeking cover. Okay, so Hirsch- Like running down this alley, are there like offshoots that I can hide in or shall I just hide behind Buchanan? For sure, like if we look if we look at the, uh, if we look at the uh, map here, there's this casino right here. That's yeah. a possibility. There's like these little alcoves here that you could potentially hide in. Um, sure. These doors yeah, the are all sealed, good. but yeah, you could you could run up to the alcove. So we'll just do this because um, this is getting a little crazy. Where are we here? Okay. Yep. 
So we'll go like that. This is Hirsch. Let's see, can I give it an H? H for Hirsch. Okay. Um, Buchanan is right here. Buchanan and Bucko. Yeah, Buchanan. Stuck in the back. Mm. Well, once I unfreeze, I can always just pick him up and run. Bucko. <laughs> just <laughs> under the arm. Um, so really strong. Singleton is running, like fleeing, correct? Is that right, Huli? So there's Singleton. And where's Ezra in all this? Uh, so I'm going to follow the Riz because uh, the Riz has the escape uh, <laughs> ticket. So um, and like, I, I just got here. I don't know what's happening. I'm just let's go. OK, I don't know who these people are. So Singleton and Ezra. All right, cool. You guys are running. Um, let me do this because of stuff. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Because of stuff. Don't yeah. like that. No, I know. It's never good. As you are running, uh, Rizzo, Riz, sorry, Riz and Ezra are way ahead, right? Um, and you guys are, look back and there's, you don't see the rest of your companions anywhere. Um, let me do this roll. Oh, there's a success there. Um, you're leading the way, Singleton, running, and as you as you are, you you sense something is is right next to you, and indeed there is. You see that there is. Where is it? Oh no! There it is. One of the drone xenomorphs jumps out it's going to get an attack uh basically like a surprise attack on you so let me roll and see what that is roll this is Four. so awesome you guys are running it's like the cinematic scene with the lightning crashing rain coming down you're running you and ezra are, are like racing to the escape pod or the uh, shuttle excuse me and this thing reaches out and is going to grab you i've got a base of 10 this is nasty. And I got one success, I think. Yeah, looks yep, like it. One success. So Ezra, you're running and you're following Singleton and this thing jumps out and grabs Singleton. Um, Singleton, you are for, for all intents and purposes uh, grappled or grabbed as they call it here. You can try to get out of that. Um, both you and Ezra need to make panic panic checks right now, please. And I forgot I had this thing. Uh, flashing lights are coming. I would have been doing that all night. You guys have been making panic checks like crazy. Mm. So, uh, how'd you do? What'd you get? I got seat cover cover so you dive into some cover that you can find next to billy's bar what about you singleton oh no panic's not good for me right now uh i'm at a over 15 on the dice oh shit so you you just kind of go limp catatonic and staring into oblivion oh <laughs> <laughs> um, pilot's down the pilot is down so what we'll do now is we will we'll do a quick initiative. Are you guys okay to play for another little bit, or does anybody have a hard yeah, stop? Absolutely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, we got it. Yeah, we got to yeah. see if you guys make it. So we're gonna do a quick initiative <laughs> as this drone has grabbed your friend. All right, so I'm but shuffling. Which one did it grab shuffling. exactly? Was it Huli it, or Kay? Yeah, Singleton. Huli, Singleton, your okay. pilot, the 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 only person that has can train has been trained. Buchanan would say the only How person hard qualified. Can it be? Yeah. yeah, how hard can it be? Come on. Push some right, buttons. So a little lever. Let's see. Yeah. I've got new scratch pad. I've got a four in agility. So So you know, Hirsch, you possible. are number two. Um Ezra. Nice. You are number one. Um Bucko is number eight. 
shit. <laughs> uh, singleton is number nine. And uh, Buchanan is number four. Oh, yeah. Sleepy. <laughs> yeah, right. And then uh, these, this drone, I think it's two. Yep. So it's going to go at number seven. And number 10. You guys are luckier than hell. <sighs> All right. So, Ezra, you watch your friend... Uh, get caught by this alien creature and just go limp in its arms. What are you going to do? Uh, I am going to uh, take a shot first at this at this thing. I have a gun. Oh, hell yeah. Yeah, I have a Rexum RXF M5 EVA pistol. Whatever that <laughs> means. I don't know what the stats are on that, though, so. Um, I will. I will get you that. Um, so I guess I'll, I'll start with uh, uh, agility range combat with my stress level to see if I hit. Okay. And you said it was the pistol, right? The pistol, yes. So seven plus eight. Where's my pistols? There we go. Uh, any successes, Kay? I got three successes and one failure, uh, or two failures. One on the black and one on the yellow. Okay. So it's only the yellows that matter that for matter? that. Yep. So um, so you do take a point of stress. You're going to have to make a panic check. So let me just add that here to you. You're at eight, I believe. Unless uh, I missed nine, one. Nine, actually. Nine? Okay, thank you. Um, and then, so go ahead and roll the panic check. I got four plus nine, so 13. I flee, I run away. Fleeing is good, fleeing is very good. Um, you also do uh, damage, you had two successes, I believe, is that right? Oh, I think I had like three. Was it three? Okay, perfect. So you get to do the damage and this is the uh, service pistol. This one is up the Rexum Eva pistol. Oh, but it probably is the surface. Yeah. Pistol as well. Yeah. So that's pretty sweet. So it's damage of one, but you can do additional damage if you would like to with it with the stunts. That's up to Ooh. you. Uh, you sure. Look, yeah, I would. Yep. So you can do two extra points. So three total damage to this drone. Let me just write this down. Okay. Um, so that is your slow action. Do you want to use a fast action to flee? I guess. Yeah, I guess so. Yep. Okay, um, let's just see. Your stress level goes down by one, which is nice. Okay, um, nice. All right, so that was Ezra's turn. Um, let's go to Hirsch. You're at number two. All right, so I'm going to uh, come out of cover, and can I see this, or are they too far ahead? Uh, I would say that you are you. You probably see this thing looming with the rain like falling down and and water rolling off of it. You can see that this thing has one of your companions. I'll move you guys up so you guys are you know you're all kind of back in the same general area. We'll say, I think. Well, at, you, at least you are, if you want to be. Right. Then I'm gonna just raise both pistols and run at it, and be like, "You go back to hell, demon!" and just pull both <laughs> triggers. One of them is completely empty, and I think the other has two bullets left. Okay, so one is just click, click, click. But right. The other one, so go ahead and give me a range combat roll. Um, remember that you've got some agility um, right. penalties. Right, so all I'm rolling is stress dice, I okay. think. Let me just double check that range. No, nope, I'll roll one normal die. Okay. Man, this... Uh the panic really escalates quickly in this game. Right. And then it sort of like Tense. gets into the panic, like feedback Two, loop. Three, three successes. And one and failure. And one failure. Okay. So you do three. So you get, you get the damage on it with the pistol and then you have two stunts you can do, um, which can be extra damage or there's a, there's a couple additional options in that, um, 
on the sheet here, including this might be something you might be interested in. Um, force your like target the... to drop an item or weapon, yeah. and, we could, and we can make that apply to um, Singleton. Yeah, I'm going to do the extra damage and force it to drop Okay, Singleton. All right. Uh, the thing takes the shot and kind of turns to you and drops your companion and Singleton. You just kind of fall to the ground, sort of catatonic. Um, and you're, you're right up up in that same zone now, Hirsch, with this creature yeah. in, in the pilot. Uh, so that was number two. We go to Buchanan at number four. Buchanan, uh, what are okay. you doing? I'm catatonic still. Can I do anything? Okay. Uh, no, because nobody's there to help you. Nope. I'm just laying there. <laughs> Um, so we'll, we'll wait to see if someone does anything to help you. I don't know. It might be every, every, uh, every worker for themselves at this point, middle if management it, I, be I damned. Think so. I yeah. Think your, so. your utility has, Was has worn, has run its course. Was I help you? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, well, let's see. Like... Five, six... You stabbed me to oh. death after I healed you up, so I don't know. <laughs> that, I can't be that, trusted uh, for that. Not to that brings again. us to the drone. <laughs> so the drone is going to, uh, attempt to attack you, Hirsch. Let me roll to see what it's going to do. Man, I really like rolling that uh, that four. It is going to grab you. Let me roll okay. my, my attack here. Oh, yeah. So it grabs you, and it is going to do... Uh, it's going to do one damage to you, and you are now grabbed. Okay. I need... Uh, is anybody conscious? Who's conscious right now? I am. Make panic rolls, please. With, uh, with Can one... I see that, though? Um, Where are you Where are you located? I, I, mean, I got stuck way back because I froze. But I'm conscious. I, I think I just... so, yeah, because because we said that Buchanan could see it. I mean, it's like this long quarter, but you see this thing fighting okay. with your friends. So, yeah, please make a panic check. I got seek cover. Okay. I got 14. What's that? 14 is Berserk. 13. Sorry. 13. 13. Flee. So you're fleeing as well. Um, so you all oh. are racing up at this point. Um, and you, it is now, that was seven. So Bucko, it's your turn. All right, uh, I'm gonna run on down this corridor. Uh, how close can I get to this thing? You can get, uh, You could use your both actions to get right up to it, I would say. Um, I don't think I need to get right up to it. So for range on my weapons, I have L and I have E. What is E? Uh, that would be long range and E, or E is engaged. So E is like right up next to it. Oh, okay. So yep. I have a long range weapon, so I would just use one action to get within long range. Yep, you can do that. And fire at this thing. Okay. Uh so I'm just I'm just sprinting and I go ah! as I run. All right. Um so I make I've a ranged a attack roll, please. M41A pulse rifle. Okay. I will look that um, which up. Which is a Plus one bonus, so I'm yep. pretty sure. Sorry, I'm just not super familiar with the combat stuff nope. with this one. It's me um, to all of so us. I'm pretty sure that, that means I'm going to use my agility and range combat, which would put me at eight. Yep. Um, plus and, one for the weapon, which would put okay. me at nine. Yep, and then your nine, uh, your nine stress dice. Cool. I got a lot of chances here. Yeah, you do. This All right, cool. nine and nine. Here we go. Oh my God. Um, oh. that is many successes. I don't uh, see any one, failures. Two, no failures. Uh, I think only is it two or three successes? I can't tell. One, it's not two. Calculating I see. Calculating for me. Yep. Cool. Two. So with two successes, then I think what I'll do is I'll use the same ability to get it to drop Hirsch. Okay. And the total damage on this thing is two. And um, yeah. you blast it, and it sort of like stumbles, dropping Hirsch, and it stumbles, and then it just falls to the ground and lands <laughs> there motionless as you blast it. I'm just it. like, I'm still shooting it as it's on the ground, so it's like it's like moving around a lot. Even do you like it's... unload? Do you unload the clip on it? Um, maybe not everything, because I'm I'm a marine, so like I feel like I know how to 
preserve, but I, I shoot it a lot. Okay. And you drop it. It goes down. Now, here's here's my oh, Bucky's, question. Bucko's just screaming like, yeah, yeah, get to the ship. Get to the ship. So you guys have forgotten about Buchanan. Buchanan's back yep. by have the Have we forgotten e about Buchanan? Mm, well. Honestly, he had a bit of a villain <laughs> it was, arc. It was, yeah. yeah, it was kind of a convenient um, omission, let's say, of Buchanan's presence. Um, so we kill. have Bucko. Okay. We've got Ezra, uh, who are both up. Um, Hirsch, you're still up, right? You were just yeah. grabbed. So you're back on your feet. Singleton, I think, uh, Huli is Singleton is catatonic. Catatonic. So you've, your pilot's catatonic. I'll does pick her. Have, I'll pick does, her up. Does okay. anybody have a med kit? Would be one question. Nah. Okay. So you grab Singleton and you guys make your way uh, past this dead xenomorph. You make your way to the um, the ship, right? And yep. you get you get to the the uh, the tarmac. And you see the ship. You've got the who's got the key card? I uh, guess I'll have it because I'm carrying Singleton, right? Okay. So you've got so. the pilot over your over your shoulder. Someone's like, Singleton's got the key card. And so you uh you grab the key card and you race up to the ship. And as you use the key card to open the shuttle door. You are immediately swarmed by the face huggers that have hatched from all of the eggs that some of the scientists were trying to escape with. And they swarm all of you. And that, my friends, is where we fade to black. I throw grenades. Right? Yeah. Okay, that's great. So at the grenades. last minute, you just you pull the pin on the grenade and you're like, fuck it. Fuck you. Boom. The whole place explodes and we fade to black and we wait for Ripley and Paul Reiser and all the rest of them to show up in aliens to see what the hell went down in this crazy, crazy place. My friends, I will say those of you who made it through with, with one character the whole time, congratulations. That was awesome. The janitor made it. What's up with that? Yeah. The janitor made it. Oh Hirsch, my God. You would even see Hirsch as you like look down in your pocket, you see a little toy dinosaur in your pocket Aww. that Holly had given you. Oh no. And I grab just it sad. just as I get swarmed. Right oh. as you <laughs> Yeah, let's let's do this. Let's go around. So everybody has sort of like a last moment of their life. So for for um for Bucko it was to pull the pin on the grenade, right? To blow up everything. So for Hirsch it was like to what, what Bucko does yells do? his own name as he does it too. <laughs> Bucko! Bucko! <laughs> <laughs> I love and it. And then blows everything up. All right, what does Hirsch do? What's the last moment for Hirsch? Oh yeah, he he's like, what's in my pocket? <laughs> and he pulls out this dinosaur and like maybe a little smile crosses oh. his face. And then he gets face hugged. Yep, face hugged and then blown up to just to top it off. Right? What about Ezra? Uh, So Ezra has not been around in this game very long, but he's, he's very much a, a tough guy like Bucko, but Bucko is probably a little bit... Uh, more bro -y. uh <laughs> so i imagine that uh, uh ezra is like shooting pretty wildly like the face huggers and various other forms are like jumping on him and eventually he gets kind of pulled under and you see an arm come out from like a, a bunch of face huggers on, <laughs> over top of him and then he just oh falls back classic in. i love that um singleton you're you're catatonic but your senses you know, like the senses are there. What what are, what goes through your mind at the end as you as you hear somebody yell? You hear your friend Buck Bucko yell, "Bucko!" And you see these things are like swarming over your friends and yourself. Um, I think the last thought probably is at least I didn't have to kill them myself. <laughs> and then I'm gonna just <laughs> your mission just, accomplished. Yeah, I'm getting blown up because I'm on Bucko's shoulder, so I'm like the first part of the meatloaf getting made right there. You know? Oh my God. <laughs> That's amazing. You you did manage to complete your personal agenda, which was to <laughs> make sure nobody got out of here with, you yep. know, with the knowledge of what happened. Um, meanwhile, Buchanan, <laughs> you are yep. long Who's forgotten the from this, the scene. Um, and 
what is going through your mind as you hear this massive explosion erupt in the distance? Um, as I'm still catatonic, I would assume. Like, you're, you're, you're like present a little bit, right? So you can hear oh, and yeah. you can, you know. Yeah, I'd be like, fuck, that's my escape route gone. And then it immediately goes to um, regret for stabbing Sig to death. <laughs> Oh, and that's just right. accepting his I'm just accepting his fate. Like this is what I deserve. This <laughs> nice. <laughs> yeah. I never got that promotion. I guess this is what yeah. I deserve. I should have I need to I could have got a raise, but <laughs> Oh man, you guys. It was almost like second villain in a yeah, way. Oh, for sure. Yeah, that yeah, was brilliant. Yeah, yeah. You guys, you guys, congratulations. That was awesome. I uh, thank you so much for playing along Amazing. and being willing for your for your characters to suffer horrible deaths. Um, I'm I'm actually really impressed that you know some of you made it through the whole game without having to roll up new characters. So so good on yeah, you. Yeah, good for you, Hirsch too. Like yeah. Hirsch really stuck it out. Yep, the janitor. I'm honestly surprised. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. Um, you guys, thank you so much. Everybody who's been hanging out with us, watching this, our shenanigans today, thank you so Ooh. much. Um, we really appreciate it. I I know we went a little long, so thank you all. Uh, Shiv, I know it's it's late where you're at, so thank you for That's sticking fine. it out. Cool. Um, let's cool. go around the, the virtual table real quick. Please remind folks who you are. I'll, I'll pop your, your um, info in the chat, but if you've got something that you want to promote, or you've got something going on this week or whatever, let us know. Let's go ahead and start with Shiv. Uh, hello, yeah. I was your trusty boss, Buchanan, who sadly didn't make it out, but I'm Shiv. You can find me everywhere. I am Shiv. Um, doing lots of things at the moment, lots of stuff going on. So check out my social medias and you'll see more there. Awesome. Shiv, thank you so much. I, I absolutely love playing games with you. So I'm uh, glad that we were able to make this happen. Um, this is a great time. So I know there are more games much. on the way. So I'm excited yes. to see what else happens in the future. So thank Come you. Come on. Hooli. Yep. Hooli. Hi friends, uh, my name is Huli. I play games, run games, and produce games over at Heroes and Hooligans. You can find us everywhere at Heroes and Hooligans. My secondary uh, job in the TTRPG community is production managing over at Queens Court Games. And if you're not familiar with Queens Court Games, you should get your life together and get familiar. They've got several um, <laughs> awards that they've won. There are several nominations up. New Jersey Web Fest is coming up. Check it out. Find them on Twitter, Queens Court Games. Do that. Thanks for having me here, Dave. I'm glad oh, that I could be your asshole in one of your games. Dude, I am so happy that we got to play it together again, and it will happen again and again because I just I love what you bring to the table. So thank you for that. Uh, and someone else who brings a lot to the table, uh, Rachel, Aria Galaxy, great to have you back. Hey, thanks so much for having me. I'm Aria Galaxy. Uh, I played the lovable android Holly before her demise, <laughs> and then the big beefy Bucko, uh, oh. named based on, uh, I believe someone said Bucko earlier in the game. Might have even been me. Um, so it was a bit of a callback there. But you can find me at all the socials. I did just join Threads, if anyone oh. is over there. So oh feel my. free to follow me there. Um, and yeah, can't wait for the next one. Thanks, everybody. Thank you so much for coming back for more sci-fi shenanigans. And they they end always. horribly, but I'm glad that you're up yeah, for I it. Yeah, I die always. Yeah. <laughs> I'm so glad. Never a happy ending with you, Dave. God. Uh, uh, but there's lots of smiles and tons of laughter. And I feel like that's yeah. the, that's what we're really after here. So thank you for being part of that. Um, let's go thank next to Jeremy. Uh, hey, I'm Jeremy. You can find me over on uh, Wanderer's Haven here on Twitch. Or if you head to social medias, it's WH Pubs. Go to wandershaven.com if you want to know. Sorry, WH Publications dot com if you want to know what i'm publishing um so glad to come and actually survive this one until the last minute that was a ton of fun and totally unexpected thanks for having me and thank you all for making it so entertaining oh man thank you for adding to that and escalating it i was super i loved hirsch uh, that character has got a lot of a lot of layers and i'm not kidding maybe there is a prequel game in our future because i would love to play with you again jeremy it was a pleasure nice thank you so much thank you uh last but certainly not least k I'm so glad you were part of this, Kay. Thank you so much. Thank you. I'm glad I got stabbed to death. Um, <laughs> my name is Kay, or Caden Cosmos. This is my cat, Ripley. So she decided to come and watch us, or not really watch, but sleep around while we died. Uh, so I'm really thrilled. Uh, yeah, I do a lot of different game stuff. I'm, I have a ton of games coming this weekend. Uh, and tonight I'm running... Um, free online trivia at Sly Fox Trivia at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So if you want to come play free trivia, 
I'll be there. Oh, yeah. Fun. That uh, awesome. Thank you for having me again. And I, yeah, I had a great time. I love Alien. And uh, thanks. Oh, man, I'm glad you were part of this. Thank you so much. And I'm glad Ripley got to make an appearance on multiple occasions. So that's also very fitting. Um, we're going to raid into our friends over at Vancouver by night in just a minute. But I want to once again thank everybody who's been hanging out in the chat with us. If you like what you, we, you've been seeing, we have a lot of great games here and we encourage you to follow the channel. Uh, if you want to support us to, so that we can Im continuously improve our, our storytelling, uh, you can even maybe give us a, uh, a subscription. But we just like having you in the chat with us getting goofy. Thank you so much, Chaotic Good Gaming and everybody else. I want to say a big shout out to the folks that uh, allowed us to use their music, Carl Casey, Tabletop Audio, and Cryo Chamber. Uh, I love all of that music, and their links are now in the chat for you to check out. Alien RPG is made by our friends at Freely Games, so uh, please go check out their stuff. They are awesome. They've got a lot of great games, and we play a lot of them on our channel. Uh, in fact, um, we will be doing more of this type of stuff, some one shots and short shots. So if you want to get involved and, and hang out with us and get involved in some of the games, come on over to our Discord. That's where a lot of folks hear about uh, opportunities to play on our games. So I encourage you to do that. And um, I think that's about it. You guys know who I am. I'm Dave. I don't need to go into great detail about that. You've seen me here before. We're going to raid into Vancouver by night and give them some love. I want to just quickly plug Tuesday night. We're going back to our Heroes of Greyhawk game. Uh, same uh, 7 p.m. here. And Thursday, we have a Shadowrun finale. So come back for that. Bleak has got uh, the, the third part of his Shadowrun game that ends with a big blast. We'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.